path of each individual that they're taking is all uniquely different. So ultimately, it is created from their own and shared by all. True. And, and I just feel that, you know, people take too much in consideration for that which is physical when really, ultimately, everything that you're experiencing, experiencing is through oneself. Absolutely true. I mean, I think that uh, we were talking about this earlier this week about how it is that you can't really prove that you're or anyone else is here, right? Like, as you said, everything that you experience is filtered through your senses. And it's certainly possible that you could be experiencing uh, a, a very persuasive and very, uh, very good computer simulation or some sort of simulation wherein, you know, sort of a la the Matrix where, you know, you're in, you could be in this pod, right? And you would have no idea right. if some sort of program was able to interface and manipulate those senses. See, I believe that we live in a concrete reality, but everybody does have their filters that they see the world through. Like, People have emotional filters by which their viewpoints are skewed, which can account for a lot of uh, the disparity between people's opinions on the same topic. Well, then to resolve that issue, then you would have to look at the idea of what, how the conscious itself is split up. Now, conscious itself is split up to that which is and that in which the ego thinks it is. Now, the ego has been in control and has been basically set in place for upon generations upon generations, and that's just the way we were trained to think. So we, we allow ourselves to have emotions and react in certain ways that ultimately aren't necessarily how we would really want to act, mm -hmm. but we do so because of how we felt about it, how it's been preset upon us through our experiences growing up. And the, that which it is, if you, are, if you are able to tap into the ability to that which is, what the ego would think to be as good or bad is no longer good or bad because you have the reality is is you have a choice the individual has a choice on how you feel about anything anything that happens you have that choice and if you are trying to choose to be happy like how they call it, like spiritual people their their essence is trying to become happy and find that peace and balance and harmony in their own existence and be able to spread that well, it's, it's all about what you're willing to do. It's all about how far are you willing to go? How much of what you thought to be are you willing to tear away at to really expose that which is and embrace it? Good stuff, Lot. I really appreciate the perspective and the call tonight. There's more on the way here at 855-450 free. You can take control of the airwaves here on Free Talk Live. Gentlemen, in search of a million dollar smile that'll make them take notice, I mean really get their attention, then get the mud. My Magic Mud. The fluoride free whitener with no chemicals, additives, GMOs, or bad taste. And safe to swallow. My Magic Mud detoxifies, reduces sensitivity, cleans and strengthens your teeth while it whitens. Comes as a powder for pure whitening power. Start looking good for that special someone. Get the mud now. MyMagicMud.com tired of taking handfuls of vitamin pills look and feel super with a great tasting liquid vitamin and mineral supplement called passion for life this incredible one ounce daily drink can lead to better stamina and energy due to faster more complete absorption passion for life contains 135 all natural whole food ingredients it's the best tasting most powerful product of its kind on the market order now by calling 844 try life or find out much more about passion for life by visiting 844 trylife.com 844 trylife.com Hey guys, Mark Claire here, lionsofliberty.com, where we strive to advance the ideas of liberty daily. We bring you the Morning Roar. That's right, every Monday to Friday, we'll have a brand new edition of the Morning Roar, where we provide a roundup of some news stories that you may not find in the mainstream media or even in your typical social media news feed. We find stories that relate to the ideas of liberty and provide you with our liberty perspective on them. 
Every Monday, we have our longest-running feature, Mondays with Murray, named after the great libertarian Murray Rothbard, where we'll examine an article or an excerpt from his works and help convey his view, along with our little spin as well. We wrap it all up every Friday with Felony Friday, where our own John Odermatt goes out and takes a look at some sort of felony. There's felonies committed every day, you know, whether it's a felony committed by the police, a politician, or even an average citizen. You can find all of this and so much more over at lionsofliberty.com, advancing the ideas of liberty daily. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges start a conversation with your neighbor or your doctor or your family or your school. Now there's teachers and lawyers and business executives and they all wear shiny badges and they all reject the state. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges show the world that you reject coercion and aggression and oppression by the state. Shinybadges.com So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. The following is an important free offer for smokers only. The makers of Victor, the world's most advanced e-cigarette, have just authorized the release of free starter kits to all smokers who call in the next 10 minutes. Valued at $99, these Victor starter kits are available for free, but only while supplies last. To guarantee your free kit, call in the next 10 minutes, 1-800-564-6941. The revolutionary Victor design creates only water vapor. There is no foul-smelling smoke and no unhealthy tar. This allows individuals to enjoy the nicotine they love without restriction, no matter where they are. The financial advantages over cigarettes are considerable as well. It is estimated that the average smoker can save hundreds of dollars a month with Victor. Again, free Victor starter kits are now available to any smoker who calls in the next 10 minutes. This is a radio-only offer not available in stores, so call now for your free kit. 1-800-564-6941. 1-800-564-6941. 1-800-564-6941. You're listening to the best liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live. You may bring up anything that you want right here, toll free at 855-450 free. We've got Skype as well. Anything from your comments on the news to existential reality discussions, uh, we can handle whatever. I mean, you can share whatever's on your mind here. Whether we agree or not is another question. And I don't know, Ellen, if you and I necessarily are on the same page. It sounded like we had a slightly differing opinion. Reality. We can dig into that further here in a moment. Something that uh, you know is certainly true is this: whether whether you believe that uh, you know the, the reality is concrete, as Ellen uh, suggested she does, or that it may be some sort of an illusion uh, created by a computer program sometime in the future or now or whatever. Whatever you believe about reality, the fact is it's pretty persistent. Like it seems like it's here. It seems it's like reliable. it's real. Yeah. It, it tends to be there when you wake up in the in the morning, and so therefore you got to take certain steps to protect yourself in this reality, like ProXPN. It's a global virtual private network that encrypts your online data, meaning that right now your internet service provider is likely logging every website you visit, every search term you enter for up to five years in some cases. They hold on to those logs for a long time. Now, you can actually stop that from happening by getting ProXPN. You go to ProXPN.com slash FTL, and you can download their software. It's available for Windows, Mac, iOS devices, and Android devices. If you're a Linux user, setup's a little bit different for you. Just contact their tech support, and they'll help you through that. But ProXPN's great. It encrypts your data, meaning that the ISP will not be able to log you anymore. And with their premium account, you get unlimited bandwidth. 
You also get to select different servers around the world to which you can connect. Now, they do have a free account, but the bandwidth is limited, and you only get one server. So you're going to want to upgrade to their premium account. In addition, you can privately torrent with a premium account, something you can't do with their free account. Go to proxpn.com slash FTL. Get started there. And when you're ready to upgrade to premium, use our code FTL20 to get 20% off for the lifetime of the account. That's proxpn.com slash FTL. Use promo code FTL20. And keep in mind, you got a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee. You really have nothing to lose with ProXPN, and they don't keep records of your online surfing habits. So proxpn.com slash FTL code FTL20. I like ProXPN. It's a great service, and it's so affordable. Now, uh, we could talk further about the sort of the nature of reality. You said, Ellen, that, and we can get back into the Obamacare thing, because the bureaucrats will always be waiting and lazy and doing right. nothing. But reality is a little more important to crack down on right now. Well, I mean, it's a, it's a fascinating dis, uh, discussion. And our last uh, call there from uh, Michigan City has some very specific viewpoints about sort of the nature of consciousness and what we're experiencing. And you say you think that uh, there's a concrete reality. And that would have been, I think, one of the differences between your position and mine. My position is, I don't know what reality is. I know that I'm in this place and that there are certain rules that seem to be in effect here in, in this uh, this reality. And those rules seem to be pretty, you know, set, right? They're, they right. seem to be pretty set in stone, like gravity's here today. It's probably not going to be gone tomorrow. Um, so, I mean, by that definition, we could say that that's concrete because it's consistent, I guess. But when you say concrete... Uh, do you mean that uh, that, that something is, that reality exists with or without you? Yes, uh, basically, like the fact that you're alive and that you can think, uh, it pretty much is proof enough of existence. Like I think, therefore I am. Probably one of the most famous sayings of all time. It's the only thing that you can uh, like logically deduce without having to know anything else. So just you know that you're alive and you know that you exist. So therefore, other things exist as well. And like you said, gravity exists, uh, like the speed of light is a constant. There's rules that are always there. And like every morning when you wake up, you're going to take a step and the ground is going to be there. And, you know, if reality didn't exist, we wouldn't be able to be sitting here talking like we are now. That's certainly true. Um, but of course, if it were a computer simulation, we would be able to be sitting here talking because we'd be convinced that reality exists by the computer simulation. That's true, but at the same time, how unlikely is that? Like, who's going to com who's is going to unlikely? create a computer program that has us in pods, creating this completely realistic reality for us? Like, that's taking extreme measures, and I don't know if there's any technology out there that's good enough well, to do that. The pods thing was just an example, just right. to bring it sort of to an understandable level by sure, someone who has seen the Matrix. I'm sure early. most people have seen the Matrix. Right. Well, a lot yeah. of people haven't, I guess. Younger people may not have seen the Matrix, but uh, that was just the only reason I gave that. It was just to kind of give an example. The computer program could be that, uh, that we're just the part of the program, right? Like, that we're simulated... AI, essentially, and part of this program. So there might not have to be pods, I guess is what I'm saying. It could just but be... But then how would you explain, like, unpredictable human behavior? <laughs> I don't know if you would explain it as unpredictable. You could say that everything is possible and that in, you know, different universes and realities, everything manifests. Like, you know, in some other universe, you're the president, for instance, <laughs> or whatever. Maybe, but I don't know that. Right now, all I know is this life that I'm living. It's true. It's true. That's all we ever really can know. And I doubt there's ever going to be a crack in the code of the program to reveal itself as, aha, you've been fooled <laughs> this whole time. <laughs> no, but, but that would be pretty crazy. No one would expect that. It would be crazy. But you said, how, uh, how likely is it? And there is, oh man, you know, there was actually a story we talked about Mm, last year, maybe or previously, where the suggestion was that once humanity and technology reaches a certain point, that making simulation programs to simulate the past will be trivial because, you know, programming over time, even though computers are more complicated now than ever, we're also able to do more now than ever with computers as, uh, you know, and simulations and That's things like true. that. That's true. But also the human mind is so complex that it would be 
very difficult for anybody to create a computer as sophisticated. Like, it's the oh, yeah. most sophisticated computer in the universe. There's no doubt about that. Uh, although some are saying that the combined computing power of all of the computers on the internet, you know, Google essentially, is the equivalent of a human brain. One single human brain. Right. How puny is that in comparison to the, the entire population of sure, the world? Sure, laugh it up now, Ms. Human, but <laughs> keep in mind that uh, look at like what 20 years of development has done for technology. I was just looking at a video game today that's coming out soon called Wolfenstein. For those of you who've been around since the 1990s, the early 90s, this, you may remember the original Wolfenstein. It was uh, sort of the granddaddy of what is now a huge genre in the video game world, the first-person shooter. And, uh, you know, you went around through the uh, these old German castles and you would shoot Nazis. And it was very cheesy and very, uh, you know. American. Right. That, that's <laughs> certainly true. The new game, uh, you know, here now 20-plus years later... It's it's not quite photorealistic, but it's darn close, and it looks amazing. You know, the the graphical technology is just mind-blowingly good. Uh, the gameplay is far better than you know it was 20 years ago. So the advancements are significant. That's so true. So it's easy for us to say, oh, <laughs> you can't, you know, you can't use computers to make a human brain. Well, not in our current reality, but. In the future, maybe. But the thing, the way that you can tell the difference between a video game and real life is that in vid a video game, you don't have very many alternatives. You have a set path that you go down. It's pre-programmed. Whereas in everyday life, you have millions of opportunities to do different things. Well, that's true, but there's still only a set amount of choices in real life as well. There are certain things you just can't do. You can't go outside and fly away. Uh, I mean, know. that would be violating the laws of physics, so it no. It would be, but, but I you mean, also can't, like, where there's some certain things you can't do, right? You're not in right. charge fully of all the options, so there are only certain options on the table. And there are actually some people who would argue against the idea of free will. They say that everything is uh, is predetermined, that... You know, all of your choices are predictable based on your past experiences. I don't subscribe to that personally. <laughs> okay, good, because I was going to have to prove you wrong just then. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we'll come back with more here in moments. You're welcome to share your thoughts. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Speak on the nature of reality. We can also get back to Obamacare or still to come here tonight, the sex toy ban in one Georgia town. It's going to court, and we'll tell you more about that. 855-450-FREE. That's the Pro XPN toll-free line. You can take control here on Free Talk Live. May I have your attention, please? If you are trying to lose weight, we need your help. We're AF+, Plus, and we have too much product and too few participants in our nationwide risk-free trial. If you need to lose 30 pounds or more and would like to participate, call now. 1-800-967-9495. AF Plus is an amazing, proven breakthrough in weight loss, a once-daily capsule that can help you lose weight in days. It's also one of the healthiest ways to lose weight because each capsule contains natural ingredients, including green tea extract. You'll boost your metabolic heart rate, allowing you to shed pounds in days with just one capsule a day. Be among the first to call for your risk-free trial. Again, we have too many risk-free trials and too few participants. If you would like to lose 30 pounds or more by taking just one all-natural capsule a day, Call now to participate in this nationwide risk-free trial, 1-800-967-9495. That number again is 1-800-967-9495. Imagine an acne treatment breakthrough that even Proactive says is better than Proactive. Announcing all new Proactive Plus, the revolutionary new way to clear your skin from the number one name in acne care. Proactive Plus is our best, most effective solution ever. And when you call 1-800-721-4255 today, you can have it tomorrow. Proactive Plus is the modern acne miracle that treats your skin beautifully. The plus means more. More precise, targeted medicine for faster, gentler acne prevention. And more skin-loving solutions so your complexion can look bright and beautiful. I am just so happy with Proactive Plus. I don't think my skin has ever looked this good. Call 1-800-721-4255. Be one of the first to try Proactive Plus. Guaranteed 100% risk-free. You won't see this limited time offer on TV. It's a radio exclusive. 1-800-721-4255. 
Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at FPP.cc, as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at FPPradio.com. The monthly newspaper FPP News at news.fpp.cc and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. Did you know coffee is the second most absorbent crop on earth? Most coffee at grocery stores or in chains contains banned pesticides and has a high mold content. Seriously, we're proud to partner with Camano Island Coffee Roasters to provide the best of the best coffee, Buzzbox Coffee. Try a free pound today. You cover shipping. 10% of future purchases benefit our efforts to give the gift of human freedom throughout the world. At least 100 World Vision microfinance loans. For more information, go to coffee.freetalklive.com. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and we have gone off the rails into the world of, well, does the world exist? Is, uh, you know, what is reality? Is it this concrete thing that would be there with or without you? Or does its existence depend on you, as one of the chatters is suggesting here? We'll share that uh, in a moment. And, or is it all just a computer simulation? That's a possibility as well. What is the truth? Well, maybe we'll never know. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE, but it is fun to talk about it. 855-450-3733. You can also join us online at freetalklive.com and enjoy the features that are waiting for you on the site. Uh, in fact, you can go there and get interactive with other Free Talk Live listeners in a variety of ways. One of them is to actually contribute content to the front page of the website. Just go to freetalklive.com and you can submit a news story or a YouTube video or an opinion piece, something that you think is interesting, something on you know this topic or any other discussion or whatever it is you want to share from online. You submit it there to the front page of freetalklive.com. It is then able to be voted on by other Free Talk Live listeners at that point, and we will assess the votes. We will look at the stories, and maybe we'll talk about some of that stuff on the air. You can go to freetalklive.com to get interactive. Again, that's freetalklive.com. And another great website to go and get liberty-oriented news and information is freedomsphoenix.com. Freedoms Phoenix works a little differently than Free Talk Live. With Freedoms Phoenix, they have actually have an editor. Basically, at freetalklive.com, you are the editor. At Freedoms Phoenix, you can still submit content, but they have a human editor who goes in and kind of picks and chooses what they think are the most relevant stories. And they got a lot of them every single day. In fact, they provide the detailed real news that lies between the lines of propaganda and the relationship we have with coercive governments. Freedomsphoenix.com offers up-to-the-minute updates on the economy, technology, communications, and the rise of the police state. Go to freedomsphoenix.com and sign up for their free daily dispatch. Let's go to the phones and your thoughts. Johnson is in Keene, New Hampshire. You're on Free Talk Live, Johnson. Hey, hey. so I wanted to talk about determinism. Okay, what is that? So, so okay, so determinism, well, is the, you know, the idea that all of your decisions are predetermined and that you don't have any choices. Right? Ah, yes. So... And I want to discuss a little bit about why determinism is, is based on a logical fallacy. And that logical fallacy is called circular reasoning. 
And so and, and a lot of people fall prey to circular reasoning, especially in my belief of, obviously, the religious, you know, um, God, the kind of dude that, you know, God exists, therefore God exists kind of thing. It's true <laughs> you know, because like, it is true. <laughs> right, right, exactly. Like, well, if, you know, there can't be anything that created, you know, the universe, you know, there has to be something that created the universe because, you know, God is the creator. Well, then what created God? Mm. So, you know, it's like that kind of like circular reasoning. Um, but determinism is sort of this idea that if you have enough information and mathematical values and, and prediction information that, you know, like, for example, if you have all the variables and you have like a ball on a hill, you're going to know which side the ball is going to roll down. If you have, you know, like it's positioned just a little bit this way and, you know, you've got all that. So the idea is that if you have enough information, you can determine, for example, exactly what the neurotransmitters and the chemicals in someone's brain would be and all the positions of all the atoms in their brain. And therefore, you're going to be able to determine you know, scientifically, what decision that person is going to make. And therefore, if you can determine what decision that person is going to make based on, you know, the chemicals in their brain, then obviously that person doesn't have any free will, right? That's uh, That's one of the things that I was suggesting uh, earlier. I don't think either Ellen or I take that position, but uh, but yeah, there are people out there who believe that based on your past, uh, you know, decisions, based on your past experiences, that what you do today can be predicted. Right. And so here's the thing that, that why that's in a way wrong is because it rests, that logic rests upon itself to be true. Um, in other words, all of your past experiences and whatnot are what are leading you to that decision, you know, what, what are leading you to a decision that you're going to make, which doesn't necessarily mean that things are predetermined. You're making that decision. And so saying that it's predetermined is, is, I mean, I don't know if you see what I'm saying, but saying that that's predetermined because someone is making that decision doesn't necessarily mean that it's predetermined. It means that you're thinking it's predetermined because, you know, that you're you're seeing something play out. So you're saying because people use their free will to make this decision that it basically proves that determinism is a fallacy. In a way, well, the determinists would disagree. The determinists would say that uh, you know you don't have free will, and you would have made that decision regardless, and that you know because of all of your past, you couldn't possibly have made the other decision because of your previous interactions and/or experiences. But here's the problem: if you made the other decision, they would say that say that the same was thing. predetermined. Right. <laughs> right. They would say that that's predetermined. So it's circular logic. You know, yeah. they're always going to say that it's predetermined, and it's predetermined because it's predetermined. So that's why it doesn't work. And then there's another argument which I can't necessarily make, but there's something called the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. And I'm not talking about Breaking Bad. I'm talking about <laughs> yeah. the actual scientist. Heisenberg talks about the fact that you can't measure – the speed and position of a particular particle in space at any given time at, at the quantum level. Like, there's certain things that cannot be measured. No, wait, and, is, okay, I know there's a confusion, and I have to admit I'm one of the ones who's confused. Is the Heisenberg, actually, I actually happen to have uh, the article up for uncertainty principle here. Is the Heisenberg principle the one where uh, that you can't measure something until you observe it, that, that something isn't in position or observable or whatever, or that... Uh, I'm, the moment I'm, you try to observe the position and speed of a certain particle, you can either measure one or the other, but you can't have both at the same time. Hmm. Right. It has to do with light, for example. Like, because light particles are, you know, in order, the way to measure a light particle would require that particle to have moved by the time you measured it. You know, it's yeah. like, so you can't, you can't absolutely know its speed and position. Now, the, the reason why I say that's not necessarily true anymore is that actually I read an article just the other day that apparently scientists have made a massive breakthrough in violating the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, which had me kind of excited because that's kind of like the the first place I learned about the Heisenberg uncertainty principle was Star Trek. The Heisenberg <laughs> couplers are what they're known in Star Trek because, you know, and hey, learning physics from a TV show, great. But uh, the, the, what I learned about the Heisenberg couplers, which is a device in the sci-fi universe of Star Trek, is that they are used to compensate for the Heisenberg uncertainty principle to allow for proper teleportation. Because if you can't scan the molecular structure of a human being exactly and replicate that mm -hmm. exactly, 
then what would happen would be, you know, you'd get, you know, mush on yeah. the other side of a teleporter. <laughs> <laughs> so, they, you know, they need to compensate for this uncertainty principle. And so what's interesting is that apparently scientists have made a, a huge leap forward very recently in actually doing this, which is mm. kind of interesting <laughs> that they might be able to, uh, you know, really kind of advance, advance these, uh, you know, potential for medical science scans and all that kind of stuff. So. Johnson, thanks for sharing your thoughts tonight on uh, determinism. Appreciate hearing from you. Let's go to James in Arizona. You're on Free Talk Live, James. Hello. Yes, Ian. Minister. What's up, James? Ian. Well, the reason why religious people like me never uh, debate w whether a reality exists or not, because it does exist, and they, and because of a matter of faith, they also believe, but myself included, that a God created that reality that your previous caller that I heard a lot on your station, like every day this week, uh, talks about stuff, again, I reassert, that it is nonsense. And uh, But I don't mean to mock him, although I do think it's funny that somebody that thinks I'm a hip hypocrite for mocking him, mocked, m mocked people that believe in Adam and Eve and Noah's Ark stories. Whether or not one takes them literally or not, I don't. I don't know a single Catholic that thinks human beings were created or the, world, or the universe we exist in was created in around 6,000 years. But what I will say about that ironic mocking of my religion, I won't call AC Antichrist bigot, although he sounds like one, when he's making fun of me, but who would Jesus a nuke, by the way? Does he know the story of Noah, by the way, and what God did to the fallen world? Uh, he killed everybody. Yeah, it's a good point. It's yep, a violent, that terrible God, God. and I uh, have to say yeah, I'm embarrassed Jesus Christ is violent, by the actions of that God. God. Yeah, Thank know, you, James, for the call tonight. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You know, he's talking about the Old Testament God that uh, is just a, a horrible, a horrible God. <laughs> just a horribly violent uh, being that takes out his wrath uh, on the uh, the poor creatures that he cr allegedly created on this planet. They flood the whole planet and drowned everybody. Well, there is some massive change in his ideology between the Old and New and, Testament. Right. Right, and of course, you know, it's hard to really get a Christian to explain that, why the God seems so different in the New Testament versus the Old Testament. It's just kind of something they bypass. 855-450-FREE is the toll-free number here. You can take control of the airwaves. Hour number two is on the way on Free Talk Live. There's a treasure hunt going on at mathgate.info, a Bitcoin treasure hunt. You can find Bitcoins by proving theorems. So learn some logic, do some math, find some Bitcoins. Even better, mathgate.info is designed to be used anonymously. So connect to mathgate.info through Tor, prove some theorems, find some anonymous Bitcoins. Don't wait. Others are already searching for the Bitcoins. Go to mathgate.info today and join the treasure hunt. There are anonymous Bitcoins to be had for the taking at mathgate.info. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. This is the Central Scrutinizer. I steal your labor by force through taxation. My job is to spy on you and keep you from hearing things like the Freedom Fiends. I especially do not want you to torrent Freedom Fiends episodes to keep them drone-proof. Do not go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. 
You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Friday, May 16th, 2014. Silver is trading at $19.41 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,291 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $449. CNET reports the politically charged battle over net neutrality has officially been opened for public debate at the Federal Communications Commission. On Thursday, the FCC voted 3-2 to two to open Chairman Tom Wheeler's proposal up for public comment. Wheeler's proposal, which was leaked last month and has ignited a firestorm of protest among consumer advocates, has been revised since its original inception and will officially start the public debate on reinstating rules to protect the open internet, which were thrown out by a federal appeals court in January. Wheeler vehemently defended his proposal and tried once again to set the record straight on what it will and will not do. And he made a personal appeal, stating that as an entrepreneur and venture capitalist, he knew how it felt to be excluded from closed networks. He said, I will not allow the national asset of an open internet to be compromised. I understand this issue in my bones. I've got scars from when my companies were denied access in the pre-internet days. He emphasized once again that the internet will not be allowed to be divided into the haves and have-nots, and during a press conference with reporters, he emphasized that there is nothing in the proposal that authorizes or proposes a fast lane for paid priority services. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts and Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long term investment. Call Roberts and Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800 874 9760. The AP reports the Pentagon is trying to transfer convicted whistleblower Private Chelsea Manning to a civilian prison so she can get treatment for her gender disorder. Private Manning was convicted of sending classified documents to WikiLeaks and has asked for hormone therapy and to be able to live as a woman. The request was the first ever made by a transgender military inmate and sets up a dilemma for the Defense Department, how to treat a soldier for a diagnosed disorder without violating long-standing military policy. Transgender people are not allowed to serve in the U.S. military and the Defense Department does not provide such treatment, but Manning cannot be discharged from the service while serving the 35-year prison sentence. Some officials have said privately that keeping the soldier in a military prison and unable to have treatment could amount to cruel and unusual punishment. Two Pentagon officials speaking on the condition of anonymity because they were not authorized to speak on the record said that Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel last month gave the Army approval to try to work out a transfer plan with the Federal Bureau of Prisons, which does provide such treatment. Pentagon Press Secretary Rear Admiral John Kirby said, no decision to transfer Private Manning to a civilian detention facility has been made, and any such decision will, of course, properly balance the soldier's medical needs with our obligations to ensure Private Manning remains behind bars. Officials said the two agencies are just starting discussions about prospects for a transfer. You've heard of ShinyBadges.com, but you need to check out the New Causes tab. Every item in that section includes a donation to a worthy Liberty Project, like Hoodie the Homeless. So go to ShinyBadges.com, click on the New Causes tab, and get yourself a quality product that not only supports the cause you believe in, but starts a conversation with your neighbors. Plus, get a free gift when you pay with Bitcoin at ShinyBadges.com. Antiwar.com reports, speaking yesterday in London, Secretary of State John Kerry said the U.S. is prepared to impose yet more sanctions on Russia later this month if Ukraine's upcoming presidential election is disrupted by protest. Kerry provided no details on what the new sanctions would include, but said they would focus on preventing new investment in Russia from Western countries. Kerry said he wants Russia to play a constructive role in the May 25th Ukraine vote, which aims to replace 
replace the ousted pro-Russian government with pro-Western officials. It's not clear what would constitute a disruption of the election in Kerry's view, but it isn't clear if the election is even going to be conducted in the Eastern Oblast where the protests are taking place. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. A report confirms that many Iraqis are still holding a petty grudge about the U.S. invasion. An advanced alien civilization discovers an uninhabitable planet. And a single woman has a Facebook profile picture with her sister. This is The Onion Week in Review. A groundbreaking study published Monday in the Journal of the American Medical Association confirmed that it is impossible to lose weight, no one has ever done it, and those who are trying should give up immediately. Researchers said that findings conclusively prove that shedding excess weight has never happened, changing your physical appearance is impossible, and that all sorts of exercise personal training regimens and diets will never ever work well our test results conclusively prove that if you're going to the gym to lose weight you will fail you can work out every day and eat nothing and you still wouldn't lose an ounce skinny people will stay skinny overweight people will be overweight that's just how it is in other news an area man is outraged his private information is being collected by someone other than advertisers and a crowd cheers as this 93 year old up finally graduates from college this is the onion news network Talk Live. Take control of the airwaves here toll free. 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. This toll free number is brought to you by Pro XPN. With you in the studio tonight, it's Ian. And Ellen. Ellen's here courtesy of ALP. That is her show that she does with Allie, who is a former co host of ours who we're sad to see go. She has moved out of the area to somewhere else in New Hampshire. And uh, it's a little too far away to make the easy trip to make an easy trip to Keene. So uh, she is no longer on with us on Mondays. But I'm grateful that you're still here on Fridays, Ellen, because you are still in the area. Yes, and I'm glad to be here too. And the two of you are still getting together for ALP. You're just getting together at a a, a secret studio location somewhere else in New Hampshire that is not this studio. And so, therefore, ALP is no longer appearing live on LRN.FM. But I would like for the show to appear again, and at some point I expect that it will. You guys are still kind of getting the routine down of how to produce a show in your own studio, because it's the first time that y'all have done that. And uh, so you're producing it. You're doing it live, but you're also editing. Is that right? Later? Yep. Um, So what happens is um, on Tuesday nights now, we live stream it through Ustream. Mm -hmm. And um, after the show is over, I take the audio and I edit it. And I'm still trying to figure out how to get it in the right format just to post it online, which is why it's not on the website yet. But you can still go to our website, alpshow.com. And we still have all other 39 episodes there, I believe. That's pretty good. Now, did you do a new episode this week and you did one last week? Yes, we, so we did one last week. you actually have two in the can, but neither have yet made it online. That's true. Um, the one that we did last week, I don't think will be on our website. Oh, really? Just because it was, um, it was like a trial run. We were trying to figure things out and see uh, how we would feel doing the new show in the studio. and. Okay. Um, it was it was more like trial and error the first show, so that one's probably not going to be on the website <laughs> until some point in the future where we feel like we want to release some extra content right. that no one's ever heard. The embarrassing show. Yes, <laughs> we didn't really have a topic, but this this week when we did the show, okay. um, I I'm still editing it now, but it should be posted later tonight once I finish oh, cool. that. Yeah, and I actually enjoy doing the editing. I didn't think I would, but really, yes. It's now, what are you editing? Are you editing? Because this is new for you, right? Because previously you were doing a live radio show on LRN.FM, and you would just take the archive and then just put that online. Yep. Why did you decide to go with the sort of edited podcast model now? Did you just feel like you had to cut out all the ums and ahs, or what are you editing out of the show exactly? Well, really what we edit out is the beginning when we walk into the studio and we're live streaming, but we're not prepared yet. I see. So I edit out like the beginning. Uh, We edit in some songs because we do have one break in the middle, but really that's what the new format is. Uh, is and what I like about it so much is that it's just a continuous stream of us talking and there's no interruptions no interruption. unless unless we decide that we need a break at some point. Okay. So it's It'll be a, it's a lot more then. free-flowing. Yeah. And, and it's easier to carry on a conversation that way and cover 
every aspect of the topic. Sure, and because it's a podcast, you can go as long as you want or as short as you want as that's, well. That's true. The uh, recent episode that I'm editing now is about three hours long. So wow, okay. <laughs> it's actually, there's a lot of so uh, like normally ideas in there. When you were on LRN, it was a two hour show, but there's, you know, a certain amount of uh, minutes of commercials and news every hour. So it really broke down to about 40 minutes of talk time per hour. So uh, 40, so that's an hour and 20 minutes of, uh, of talk time. So you're actually up mm-hmm. quite a bit. Yeah, that. and I I think it's quite fun, and I know Allie enjoys it too, uh, because we get to set our own priorities now, mm-hmm. which I I find actually um it's it has it allows us a lot more creative freedom, which <laughs> is probably the best part about it. All right, well you've really pumped up the first episode here, or the the new first episode I guess of ALP. So be on the lookout for that, listeners. ALPshow.com is where that will post. And uh, presumably once a week from that point on. Yep. Right. All right. Let's uh, continue here. You are welcome to share your thoughts. Uh, we've been, if you're just tuning in, we at the very beginning of the show talked about Obamacare, and we didn't really get all the way through that story about these bureaucrats saying that they had started taking, they took this job with the Obamacare thing because they wanted to help people get health care, and then their job responsibilities have included. Nothing. I mean, they've been just basically goofing off in the office, playing games, uh, harassing one another, doodling. I mean, really, they're not doing anything, and they're so frustrated by it. You would think that a lot of people would be happy that they don't have to actually do anything for work, but these people apparently have a conscience and are upset about it. So, Ellen, can you continue the story from what? Where was the source? Newsmax? Newsmax.com. Yep. All right. So, to Kat, uh, the woman that they're interviewing, said that she took the job to help people get medical care, but now she feels guilty for working there. It was like I was stealing money from people, she said. Yeah, it was exactly like really. that. <laughs> the accusations first surfaced publicly on Wednesday when workers told St. Louis television station KMOV that they were being paid to do nothing but sit at their computers all day and look busy. They're told to sit wow. at their computers and hit the refresh button every 10 minutes. No more than every 10 minutes, an employee told KMOV. They're monitored <laughs> to hopefully look for an application. So they are looking for applications. I guess they're just not finding any. (laughs) (laughs) Missouri Democrat Senator Claire McCaskill has called for a federal inspection general's investigation after hearing the allegations of wrongdoing from the Wentzville workplace. Meanwhile, Missouri Representative... uh, Wait, what's the wrongdoing? I mean, if their job responsibility is to process these applications and no one is applying... Then they're doing their job, right? They're just <laughs> killing time until the next application comes in. When the highlight of the employees' days are playing Pictionary in the training room and you get paid decent money to get to go to work to talk to your friends, something is wrong. Yeah. So that's that's what uh, an overseer at the facility said. Hmm. So obviously there there is something wrong. And I guess that's the wrongdoing that they're looking into. He must have pulled himself into. away from his solitaire game to make that statement. <laughs> right. I'm sure he was quite busy mm-hmm. and only had a brief moment to send that email it's ridiculous i have heard that been there have been allegations from other facilities and we're looking into that so apparently this is not the only place that this is happening so this no, is this surprised. is actually a, a phenomena with it's probably nationwide processing centers for obamacare they're just not getting any applications and i'm not really surprised either because I didn't apply. I know nobody that applied. I don't know anyone either. I thought I had heard, though, Ellen, that there was only a window in the fall. So I'm I'm kind of confused as to, again, I don't know almost, I know almost nothing about Obamacare. I just know that it's been a dismal failure so far and that it's not going to make us an already broken system any better. That much I know about it. But what I recall hearing is that uh, there's like a window that opens up, some sort of an application window that supposedly opens in October, and I presume it closes by the end of the year or sometime. I, th- I feel like I've heard that it's closed at this time. I See, what I heard was that uh, the deadline to have insurance is already passed, so they should be at least getting more, uh, more applications now if they weren't mm-hmm. already. Yeah, so maybe if you know more about it, because obviously we are in the dark about all the, the details on this, you're welcome to share your thoughts at 855 450 free. But what we do know is that what do you know? Government bureaucrats caught being lazy in this case. In this case, they're being so lazy that the bureaucrats themselves are upset. Like they feel like they're ripping people off. Now, that's a pretty rare comment 
to be made by a government bureaucrat, but it's uh, nonetheless what we're experiencing here. Is there more to it's, share? Um, there's a little bit more at the end. There's actually a bureaucrat talking about the bureaucrats. Okay. Um, the unnamed whistleblower McCaskill said, or yes, claimed employees were told to pretend to work when federal officials were at the facility. Circo sure, says, so when the bosses were there. Right. Look busy. <laughs> Circo says its workforce processed more than a million documents and made 1.4 million outbound calls to applicants between October 1st and April 30th, but admitted there are times when business is slow. As in any business or major program, there are peaks and valleys as the various tasks stop and start, said Alan Hill, Circo Senior Vice President of Corporate Communications and Government Relations. Now, that's a hefty title that he has. So I'm sure that it's in his best interest to defend these people. Yeah, to make it sound like, right. oh, it's just a little slowdown. There's no big deal here. You can share your thoughts with us at 855-450-FREE, especially if you've had experience actually trying to use this Obamacare system, or maybe you've actually worked for them. 855-450-FREE. Still to come, the Georgia woman who is suing the town of Sandy Springs, or the city of Sandy Springs, over a ban on sex toys. More on the way here on Free Talk Live. You can take control of the airwaves. Angioprim can unclog blocked arteries and improve blood flow in all parts of your body. Angioprim is oral chelation. Easy, simple, liquid oral chelation. You take it with juice before breakfast and forget about it. Angioprim works fast, unlike old-fashioned chelation that takes hours. Just log on to angioprim.com. That's angioprim, A-N-G-I-O-P-R-I-M, angioprim.com. Angioprim users say they have more energy, more strength, more endurance. Increased circulation and blood flow will make all your body parts work better. Log on to angioprim.com. Com to get more information on how you can get started and start feeling better, having fun, and doing more again. Lots more. Talk to a trained Angioprim consultant. Call Angioprim toll free at 877-882-7221. That's 877-882-7221. Or log on for complete information. Angioprim.com. That's Angioprim.com. Find out how Angioprim can work for you. Get the facts about Angioprim at Angioprim.com. Making the right decisions is a challenge to investors. Are we going to see economic growth, slide into a recession, or at worst, depression? Hi, Ted Anderson from Midas Resources. We all know when a company acts irresponsibly, divesting ourselves in a move towards safety is prudent. When the market becomes volatile, U.S. Treasuries are a safe haven. But what do you do when the U.S. government overextends itself and spends beyond its means? Many investors are turning toward gold as a common-sense alternative to traditional paper investments. Midas Resources has put together a powerful book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, discussing costs, benefits, risks, featuring full-color illustrations, weights, and measures. The book is free and can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. Paper investments are dwarfed by gold's 6,000-year history. Discover how gold may be right for you and your IRA by calling 800-686-2237. Whether buying or it's time for you to sell, the book is free. Call 800-686-2237. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on doing the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp freetalklive.com You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. 
Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. Do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at Twitter.LRN.FM. That's Twitter.LRN.FM. It's Free Talk Live. We'll take your calls about anything. All you have to do is dial in toll-free. 855-450-FREE. And I don't think I've mentioned our Skype enough. We do have that tonight. It is usually available to you. You can connect to username lrn.fm via Skype. And you do have to send a contact request first. So if you haven't done that yet, go ahead and send that contact request. We'll approve it. Usually it's like every break. Essentially, I'll glance over at Skype to see if there's any new requests there so you'll get approved fairly quickly and be easily able to call us on skype after that don't forget you can join us online at freetalklive.com now we've talked a lot about bitcoins here on free talk live i'm a big fan of bitcoins ellen do you have any bitcoins yet i do i own a portion of a bitcoin excellent <laughs> you know any amount of bitcoin is better than no bitcoin and if you want to acquire some Bitcoins, you first have to have a wallet. So get the blockchain.info free wallet. That's probably the best, simplest, easiest way to get uh, a Bitcoin wallet is through blockchain.info. Once you've done getting the wallet, then you're ready to load it up with some Bitcoins. And you can do that through cashintocoins.com. They make it so easy. It's, fa it's uh, fast, it's safe, it's legal, and inexpensive. And customer service is their top priority at cashintocoins.com. Their rates are great. In fact, you can donate some of your fee to charity with cashintocoins.com. And if you order under $40 worth of Bitcoin, there's no fee. So you can literally get into Bitcoin with no transfer fee whatsoever by ordering less than $40 worth at cashintocoins.com. That is your solution. You can use uh, money order, check, or wire transfer. It makes it simple. Cashintocoins.com. Sex toy ban. The story is from the Hit and Run blog at Reason.com. And there's been a lawsuit filed now in, I believe... I believe it's federal court. I actually had the lawsuit pulled up a moment ago. It's linked to in the article here, which, of course, we'll show you on our Facebook, Google+, and Twitter. Actually, no, it's the district. Yeah, it is U.S. District Court. So, federal court. Uh, regarding the ban of the sale of sex toys to anyone without a medical, scientific, educational, legislative, or law enforcement purpose. In effect, Sandy Springs residents are required to have a doctor's prescription or otherwise prove that they only intend to use that vibrator for state-sanctioned reasons. Plaintiff Melissa Davenport told Atlanta's WSB-TV, quote, Some people have this dirty mind about how people are going to use it. People really do need devices because they need it for health reasons and to have a healthy, intimate life with their spouse. Do they explain what health reasons they're talking about well that's a good question some woods uh i don't know if she gets into the details there but she does talk about how the sex toys saved her marriage uh so for instance if you've got a a marriage that is boring that's sexless or you know maybe the your partner has some sort of an issue some kind of uh you know, physical dysfunction that could make sex you know a la normal intercourse but you have undoable. to get this proven by the state if you want to get uh, in Sandy Springs, Georgia. Now, this only applies to Sandy Springs. You could leave Sandy Springs and go to Atlanta and buy whatever sex toys you want. But Sandy Springs, no go. Um, you would, in Sandy Springs, have to have some sort of doctor's permission or be a member of law enforcement or uh, the med medical or scientific community with some sort of excuse okay. to actually buy a sex toy. Two things before you finish this article. I don't know if you have more to read. But I do a little bit, yes. Okay. First of all, uh, do they explain what educational purposes they're talking about? Is it just no. like sex ed for school? Or I, I'm sure there <laughs> must be some sort of like personal reason besides medical that you can get this. I'm not sure what they would count as educational. 
Yeah, that's a good question. I don't know if there's actually any mechanism for this. You know, they've they've banned the purchase of these sex toys, so odds are good that if you're running a sex shop, some sort of a video store or whatever, I guess they still have these things. Uh, you know, considering many people buy these things online, but physical triple X stores do still exist. And so if you were running one of those stores, then you would likely take these products off your shelf because uh, because actually figuring out whatever the ins and outs are of this law and how you can sell something to somebody, what sort of requirements they would have to meet in order to be able to buy this piece of plastic or glass or whatever it is, uh, would be too onerous to make it worthwhile, I think. So That's there true. may not actually be a known process to, oh, well, hmm, you've got this piece of paper, so you're okay. It I may just be exists. one of those arbitrary things where it's decided court case by court case. And I don't know if there actually has been a court case in this case, except for this one, where she's suing to get the law overturned. She has multiple sclerosis, by the way. She's 44 years old. And she says that has interfered with her ability to enjoy sex. She credits the introduction of sex toys with saving her marriage of 24 years. Not that it should make a darn bit of difference why anyone wants to buy a sex toy or how they intend to use it. Ostensibly, Sandy Springs residents can turn to online sex toy retailers with little problem, but in ordering internet dildos, they would still officially be breaking the law. I'm glad that Davenport, a spokeswoman for sexual health in the MS community, who seeks not just to purchase but also to sell the sex toys in Sandy Springs, is challenging the ordinance as a violation of her 14th Amendment rights to privacy and liberty. Quote, uh, or excuse me, the other plaintiff in the lawsuit is a man named Henry, described in court documents as a bisexual man and artist. Henry has previously used sex toys in art exhibits in Sandy Springs and would like to in the future, says the lawsuit. He would also like to be able to sell artwork containing these banned sexual devices and purchase sex toys for artistic and personal purposes in the city. Henry alleges the ordinance violates his First Amendment rights as well, and the city is expected to file their response in June. See, I don't know how they expect uh, people to abide by this law. They're basically putting a restriction on people's sex lives. That's something that parents can't even achieve. You know, if you've got a 15-year-old sure. kid, they're just going to go and figure it out on their own, no matter how much you try to keep them home. Like, there's no way that you can overcome somebody's sex drive, and I don't know how this law is supposed to benefit anyone. Like, what is the reasoning behind this law? I would love to know about that as well. And maybe we can do a little bit more digging and see if we can find the bureaucrats, maybe some some of the original news stories about when this law came out. I don't know how long it's been in, in place. So whenever this law came out, there was likely some news coverage about it, which may actually include quotes from the city councilors, whoever it was that was behind passing this thing. We'll find out maybe if we can dig up, like, what was the vote? Did anybody even vote against this? Did anyone dissent and say, no, we should be able to buy whatever we want to buy? I mean, come on, people, aren't we adults here? And I think that, you know, to speculate, I think that this is this is kind of classic Bible Belt uh, Southern Puritanism, ultimately, that uh, the, of course, all of America, to some extent, suffers from the Puritan roots that uh, that we once had, and uh, there are certain people out there who are offended by the idea of a sex toy. That's true, but it's not like it's some sort of morbid fetish, and the only uh, reason that I can imagine that anybody would be against somebody owning a sex toy is because the children might see it, and they won't understand <laughs> it. There was actually an incident once where I went over to my aunt's house, and she lives in uh, Grand Rapids, and somehow a dog from the neighbor, like everybody in the neighborhood always, you know, spent time together, hung out outside, mm -hmm. and one day a dog ran through the neighborhood holding a dildo in its mouth, <laughs> and none of the children knew what it was or how to take not. it. But it went totally over their heads. <laughs> they didn't realize why that was funny. Uh, in fact, let's talk about this idea that you know the kids could find the sex toys. My God, what would happen? Society would crumble. 855 450 free. You can share your thoughts on the sex toy ban in Sandy Springs, Georgia. It's being challenged in court. But what do you think? This is Free Talk Live. Gentlemen, in search of a million dollar smile that'll make them take notice, I mean, really get their attention, then get the mud. My magic mud. The fluoride free whitener with no chemicals, additives, GMOs, or bad taste, and safe to swallow. My Magic Mud detoxifies, reduces sensitivity, cleans and strengthens your teeth while it whitens. Comes as a powder for pure whitening power. Start looking good for that special someone. Get the mud now. 
MyMagicMud.com. I'm a very bad man. And today I watched you leave for work. Then I kicked your door and took your stuff. Without a door devil reinforcing your door frame, it was like you invited me. Don't worry, I'll check back in a couple weeks. Once you've got new stuff. <laughs> door devils are available at participating Ace Hardware stores and locksmiths. Or visit doordevil.com. Coplock.org slash pivothead. To ensure that a record of the truth of police interactions exists and is accessible, we each need to fill. That's why we're happy to announce the Accountability Through Transparency video contest, the winner of which will receive a pair of Pivothead sunglasses. For more information and to submit your video entry, go to cutblock.org slash pivothead. One, document with a camera a police employee exhibiting double standards or the standards we expect them to live up to. This can be done while on foot, during a vehicle stop, while submitting an open records request, etc. Two, upload your video to your YouTube channel. Three, fill out the form at coplock.org slash pivothead by the deadline of midnight Eastern Standard Time, May 23rd, 2014. Four, the winner chosen by contest sponsors will be notified by email and the Pivothead sunglasses will be shipped once a mailing address is received. Coplock.org slash Pivothead. There's a treasure hunt going on at mathgate.info, a Bitcoin treasure hunt. You can find Bitcoins by proving theorems. So learn some logic, do some math, find some Bitcoins. Even better, mathgate.info is designed to be used anonymously. So connect to mathgate.info through Tor, prove some theorems, find some anonymous Bitcoins. Don't wait. Others are already searching for the Bitcoins. Go to mathgate.info today and join the treasure hunt. There are anonymous Bitcoins to be had for the taking at mathgate.info. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Are you looking for an excuse to come check out New Hampshire this fall? You're invited to Keenvention. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keen, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, do some Robin Hooding, and learn about making the move. Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit Keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year, Rich Paul is our first announced keynote speaker, and more are being announced now at Keenvention.info. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keen for Keenvention this October 31st through November 2nd. Tickets are available now at a special early bird price of just $40 via credit card or Bitcoin. That $40 price only lasts through Porkfest, so don't delay. Reserve your tickets now at Keenvention.info. Visit Keenvention.info for more, or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's keenvention.info. Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. Talk Live, and you can bring up whatever you want. Share your thoughts on the sex toy ban. That's not the first one, as Ellen has found here. She can share some of what she discovered during the break there. And I was looking around to try to find some of the original news pieces about the sex toy ban, and I can't. I uh, I searched, I did like a Google search for back in 2009, which was when this ban supposedly went into place, and I was unable to, uh, at least within that short period of time, uncover that. If you can find a better link, feel free to submit it over at freetalklive.com, where you can actually submit content for our consideration for use on the air. Or better yet, just call right in toll-free at 855-450-FREE and add to the discussion. That's 855-450-3733. And don't forget, if you love freedom, you need to get to New Hampshire. The Free State Project is the reason why, Ellen, you and I even know one another. I never would have met you had it not been for the Free State Project and so many other wonderful people 
that have come here to New Hampshire to get active, to achieve hopefully more freedom in our lifetime. That's the point of the Free State Project. You and I are both early movers. I moved back in 2006. You moved in 2013, right? Yes, uh, very Over beginning of the ago. year. Yeah. yeah, so it's been more than a year for you. I've been, I'm have been. i coming up on year number eight or something like that, and it's been an absolute blast because there are over 1,500 people who are here now in New Hampshire as part of the Free State Project. These are people who've come from all around the world to get active so we can actually have a shot at being more free. You can come up and join us. Well, you can come visit anytime you want, but there's a really great excuse for visiting, which is coming up in June. We're actually just about a month and a, a month and a week away at this point from the Porcupine Freedom Festival. Porkfest.com is where you can go. Today, by the way, is my understanding today is the last day to get the early bird uh, ticket price of $60. The price is going to go up for the remaining two weeks in this month, starting tomorrow. So if you're listening to us live tonight, it is uh, Friday night. If you're listening live tonight, it's your last chance to go to porkfest.com and get that $60 price. P-O-R-C-F-E-S-T dot com. Hundreds of tickets have been sold already from uh, what I understand. I expect we'll probably see over 1,500 people there in uh, over the course of the whole week. It's an absolute blast. You don't want to miss this event. If you can only come up for the weekend, come up for the weekend. It is well worth the trip to the beautiful White Mount Mountains in northern New Hampshire. The campground is called Rogers Campground. It's a really cool place, and it's full of really cool people for the entire week, and I would recommend you come up. We're going to be broadcasting live. Uh, Free Talk Live will be producing our show every single night from the Porcupine Freedom Festival, so we look forward to seeing you there. And if you wait... Until past tonight, you can still get tickets at porkfest.com through the end of the month, and then after that, you'll only be able to get them at the door at the actual event where you'll pay the most. So if you want to get a better deal, go to porkfest.com now and go and get your tickets, and we'll look forward to seeing you here in New Hampshire as part of the Free State Project's Porcupine Freedom Festival, the 11th annual, by the way, this year. Really? So, yeah, on to another All decade right. of, uh, of fun. Last year was my first one. I remember it was Pork Fest X. Everybody was really excited. Actually, the weekend was the best part of it, I would say. Yeah. There's definitely more people there on Saturday than any other day. A lot of people are getting day. off of work. They're coming out, out for Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It is a blast. So we'll look forward to seeing you there. We're talking about the Sandy Springs ban on sex toys. And according to the Reason.com piece, they're saying that if you're in Sandy Springs... And you order a sex toy online, technically, you'll be in violation of this ordinance. So just the fact that you own one at all is going to make you a felon. Well, I wonder about that. I wonder if the ordinance actually prohibits possession of sex toys or the purchase of sex toys. Okay, I haven't so taken the time be, to read the ordinance. You could be grandfathered in if you already own some, is what you're saying? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> I don't know. That's the question. Are sex toys contraband in Sandy Springs, or is it simply the purchasing of the sex toy that is contra that is uh, is prohibited? That much I don't know. I haven't taken the time to read the actual ordinance, uh, but it's it's outrageous any way you slice it. I mean, the idea that sex is so bad you were talking before about you know well what are the reasons why this would happen and maybe some would say that well a kid might find a sex toy and that that's somehow a bad thing because sex is bad right, right. and kids shouldn't know about sex and we shouldn't be teaching them anything about sex that way they can bumble around and find out the hard way how sex works and make a bunch of mistakes and get pregnant at an early age right and i think we tried that out like last century and that turned out to not work so well like i just find it hard to believe that rational mature human beings can't talk about or experience sex and they have to be completely uncomfortable and go to the extent to where they would ban something like this i mean they do teach sex eds in such uh, sorry i'm trying to say sex education in public schools and they do that for a reason it's so that people can have knowledge on the topic so they don't do something that they'll regret later on and i think that's an important thing to teach children i mean maybe using sex toys isn't the best way but i don't see how it's going to scar their childhood if they happen to stumble upon something like that well if sex and stumbling upon sex and or sex toys discussion about sex if that's scarring to anyone that's more of a statement about society and culture than it is about sex, 
right? Because right. sex on its own is a pleasant thing. It's a good thing from my perspective. It's also completely natural. It certainly is. I mean, if we didn't, if it wasn't natural, we wouldn't be here. Exactly. Uh, None of us would be around. So there's a there's a natural drive towards sex, and to ignore that drive, to pretend like that drive is negative, to pretend like that drive is evil. There's all this baggage that uh, culture, religion, society have sort of packed on to this issue. And it's, it distracts people, and it, it confuses them, and it angers them, and they don't even want to talk about this, and they're upset. There's probably people turning off their radios, because we're even talking about sex toys on the radio. One of the program directors is going to get a call tomorrow or on Monday from some angry listener upset that we, you know, we're talking about sex toys and sex at all. Uh, on the radio, but I I think that you know it again comes back to uh, this puritanism, this idea that sex is bad. That you know even though if if you believe in God, a God uh, or multiple gods or whatever, if you believe you were created, then you would have to believe that sex, the drive that you have for sex, was also created. Or is that part of the devil? Did the devil do that part? And only God, God only likes sex if you're doing it to have a baby, but otherwise you can't. Oh, well, of course, if you're married, you can have sex then. It's totally fine. Then it's then it's natural and healthy once you're married. But uh, sex prior to marriage, especially with a sex toy, well, that's a tool of Satan. I see. I just don't see the logical connection because there's it no is, logic involved here. It is a tool. Um, I was actually just looking over this short article from WISTV.com. Hold on to that. We'll get into it in just a moment. Scott is on the line though in Wisconsin. Okay. You're on Free Talk Live with Ian and Ellen. Hello, Scott. How you doing, there, guys? I just uh, tuned you in. You know, I want to <clears throat> pose a pose a question with you guys, and then I'll I'll point the other way. Um, I I believe that you're married, right? No, neither of us are are married. <laughs> no. Okay. All right. Well, let's say let's say you have a marriage. All right. Okay. And or even if you're if you're your boyfriend or girlfriend, and one day she starts shutting you off, and you find out down the road that she's been messing around with this sex toy, um, how are you gonna feel? Number one. Wait. Well, just to clarify the time. Down, I, just just to clarify the timeline. You're down, saying we were married. Then she cuts uh, me off from sex, and I All find right. out later that she has been uh, enjoying a sex toy. Right, right. All right now, are you suggesting that, that it was the sex toy was the reason why uh, the sex was ended? Well, I'm just throwing that question to you at that number one. Now, here's where I would if, cut if, the if line I found that out, do you, if you want the answer to the question, uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and answer the question, then you can continue on. But... If I found out that my lover or my wife or whoever that I've been having sex with had stopped having sex with me and then I discovered that they were enjoying a sex toy instead, I would wonder what it was that I was doing or not doing that resulted in them no longer being interested in my services. And I would also wonder why it would be that somebody with whom I'd had a communicative relationship before had decided to not communicate whatever it was. Because, you know, having good sex to me is about communicating with the other person. And Scott, I want to make sure you have a chance to get your thoughts out. So hang on. We're going to come back to you here in a moment. But that would seem to be a failure of a relationship to me. Somebody's dropping the ball there. Somebody's not communicating how to improve sexual encounters. More on the way. You take control on Free Talk Live. May I have your attention, please? If you are trying to lose weight, we need your help. We're AF Plus, and we have too much product and too few participants in our nationwide risk-free trial. If you need to lose 30 pounds or more and would like to participate, call now, 1-800-967-9495. AF Plus is an amazing, proven breakthrough in weight loss, a once-daily capsule that can help you lose weight in days. It's also one of the healthiest ways to lose weight because each capsule contains natural ingredients, including green tea extract. You'll boost your metabolic heart rate, allowing you to shed pounds in days with just one capsule a day. Be among the first to call for your risk-free trial. Again, we have too many risk-free trials and too few participants. If you would like to lose 30 pounds or more by taking just one all-natural capsule a day, call now to participate in this nationwide risk-free trial. 1-800-967-9495. That number again is 1-800-967-9495. 
Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy. And get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional and installation you control what you watch when you watch it record your favorite shows pause and rewind live tv even skip the commercials watch local channels too at just 1999 what are you waiting for pull out your major credit or debit card call 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV say goodbye to the cable guy cut costs and get more 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV According to a new report, the vast majority of Americans simply want to be safe, happy, rich, comfortable, entertained, thin, and romantically fulfilled. The Onion spoke to a few of the survey's respondents who also claimed they want to be healthy, fulfilled, and successful, and energized at all times. All I want is a low-stress job, a nice house, affordable health care, and low gas prices, you know? It would be nice to have a 35-hour work week, delicious food that's actually good for me, strong friendships, and free high-speed Wi-Fi wherever I go. I think I'm entitled to wealth, love, cheap education, a fair legal process. According to the survey, 63% of all Americans want their summers to be hot but not too hot, 85% want the government to stop all wars and world hunger and make quick and easy weight loss possible, 93% want to be emotionally satisfied, plus a soulmate, unconditional love from their parents, and a big happy dog. This is the Onion News Network. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Have you ever wanted to move to the land of Libpair, Libertarian Paradise, where there's fun for everyone that doesn't initiate force on others, fun for the kids, parties for the adults, buy and sell in silver or Bitcoin, scenic hikes and gun shoots, speeches to educate us all? The Porcupine Freedom Festival is Libpair in the White Mountains of New Hampshire for a week this summer, June 22nd to 29th. Get your tickets now before there's no more room. Porkfest, the event of a lifetime. Porkfest.com. That's P-O-R-C-F-E-S-T dot com. You can interact with other LRN listeners in our message board at forum.lrn.fm. That's forum.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. We're talking about the Sandy Springs sex toy ban. It's being challenged in court and sort of discussing the idea of why something like this would even exist in the first place. Like, what's wrong with people that they would want to try to stop somebody from purchasing a sex toy? I actually have, at this point, pulled up the ordinance, uh, the very specific law and like oh, what, ex okay. what exactly they're banning. We can get back into that. We can get into the de details and what they exactly intended to do with this here. Uh, but essentially, if you live in Sandy Springs, Georgia, it is illegal for you to sell any kind of sex toy or stimulation device they it doesn't seem that it is illegal to possess the device uh but it's the sale of it i believe that is uh, is illegal and so we're going to continue with your calls and thoughts on the matter and you're welcome to share your thoughts here at 855 450 free don't forget you can join us online over at freetalklive.com and if you enjoy this show and you like what we're doing on free talk live then you can shop with us. Now go to shop.freetalklive.com. You'll find links there to Amazon. And there's different Amazons. So Amazon uh, US, Amazon Canada, and Amazon UK. Select the Amazon of your choice. And then just go and get your shopping done. 
Now, I don't know if Amazon sells sex toys. I'm not real sure about that. You know, I've never uh, searched, but I'm sure they do. They sell pretty much everything They there. seem to sell everything at Amazon. I don't want to go out on a limb and say they do. I think they might. Uh, but whatever it is that you need to buy, they probably have it. And Free Talk Live will get a cut of the sale when you shop through shop.freetalklive.com. Again, that is shop dot freetalklive.com we go back to scott he is in wisconsin and scott you're back on free talk live you had asked us the question scott you know how would we feel i think you specifically asked from a man's perspective but i think ellen's perspective would be uh, interesting here as well but how would you feel if your loved one the person that you're closest to that you had been having sex with stopped having sex with you and then you found out later that it was because of some sex toy. Was that essentially your question? I don't want to put words in your mouth, Scott. Well, uh, yeah, that's the question. <clears throat> that's the question I asked you. And I kind of agree with your, your answer there. Uh, I think that uh, I would agree with uh, to that to a pretty good, strong extent. The next com- uh, question I'll ask you, and then uh, I'll let Ellen answer what I was asking you if she would like to. But this question is, do you think there's more uh, people using sex toys of the same sex or in the situations of the man and the female? And I'll let you guys answer that off. Well, I don't understand. I don't understand your question. Can you read? I think he's asking, uh, do people use sex toys more in a heterosexual way or homosexual he unfortunately has dropped off the line, so I don't have any way of really clarifying what he was asking there. And I don't really understand the question either way. Because if you're using a sex toy, the se- a sex toy can be used in multiple ways, right? So a sex toy can be used solo, meaning that it wouldn't be hetero or homosexual in that case. It would be just personal. And well, then it can be used with a partner as well. That's right? true. But I, I think what he was trying to ask was, like, uh, if if you're a heterosexual person... Like, if you're a female, would it be more likely that you own a dildo, or would it be more likely that a homosexual man would buy a dildo? I have no idea. Like, honestly, <laughs> I, don't I, don't think it, I don't think there is any more likelihood of, of either one. What do you think? Honestly, I've seen a lot more uh, straight women and men that own sex toys than well, I can't say for how do you homosexual. Know? I mean, I don't know I mean, because I've never are asked. Letting you, yeah, but, I mean, how many of your friends, people you know, are letting you see their sex toy collection? Quite a few, actually. Really? <laughs> well, not see them, but they You've talk got, about them. Oh, really? Yes. I see. This is a different world than I live in. Is this something <laughs> common? Is this like a girl thing where girls I, talk about their sex toys? It probably is. I think because I've never heard men talk about it openly, but women, when they're by themselves, seem to be quite open about it. Wow. It's. It's actually. Do you have like? Uh, well, I know they have the sex toy parties where they'll uh, uh, be like, like pure these, romance parties. Yeah, they'll have these network marketing companies where you know, oh, you sign up, you can become a gold distributor and sell more sex toys to people, uh, and, yeah. and those are typically marketed towards women. Maybe that's yes. because they're more likely to be open and talk about those things. I was actually invited to one once, and only women were allowed to go, and it was solely because uh, women do get uncomfortable talking about sex when men are around. Mm-hmm. But. I, I do think that is uh, more likely that women are more open to talk about it. So I'm not, I can't comment on whether homosexual people use sex toys or not. But I know that. Uh, I think I think most, most women I know do. Yeah, I think that sexual people are likely to use sex toys, right? And even that includes the people who might consider themselves very devout religious individuals who, while speaking against sex toys, probably have a secretive collection that they have in a safe somewhere or buried in the backyard or wherever it is they keep uh, their sex toy collection so their husband or wife doesn't come across them. But uh, tell me more about this girl talk with sex toys. (laughs) So... um, so when you're hanging out with your girlfriends, somebody's, you know, they bring out their sex toys. I mean, like at what point? They don't point... bring them out. They just like to bring it up in conversation. Like... It's it's a normal thing, I guess. They just share. I guess it's a more of a common thing where you share ideas mm-hmm. and uh, collaborate on techniques or uh, things that worked for you. Wow. It's yeah. It's it's kind of strange. I don't get into it very much. I just listen mostly. So I wonder, um, I wonder if maybe females are more likely to own a sex toy than uh, than a male is. I don't know. I mean, I know you know males tend to be 
plastered with the idea that they're more likely to be pornography consumers. I don't know if that's true. I suspect it is, but I don't know if it's right. true. Well, it's also easier for men uh, to manipulate you know, themselves. Yes. Yes. That's what I was. It's easier we have to for stay men as clinical to, as possible yeah. <laughs> here. It's easier for them to reach an orgasm without using any sort of outside right. item. So I suspect that would be why uh, it is likely that females are more into this and more right. likely to, to talk about it. But it, if uh, back to the caller's question, though, if I were to find out that my partner was using a sex toy and not having sex with me, yeah. I... I, I pretty much would have the same answer as you. Like, I would feel kind of hurt. Why would they not tell me about this? And is there something that I could be doing differently? Or am I doing something wrong? I the, It's just a failure to express a problem. And it really just manifests in it becoming a problem for both of us in the end. So I would say that, you know, I'd be hurt, to be honest. But if they were and willing to talk about it. because they haven't talked to you. They haven't come yeah. to you and expressed whatever the issue is that they're having, which as a partner, as a loved one, somebody who's close, you should be communicating about these things. If there's a problem in the bedroom and you care about this person, you want to try to solve that problem. Exactly. You don't just want to cut the person off and then become cold to them if you actually care about the person. If the person is somebody who you know you were just using, then uh, shame on you and you shouldn't get into relationships with human beings because you don't know what you're doing. I mean, that's terrible. Unless, unless it's a relationship where you both agreed in the beginning that it was just about sex. Just about but that, yeah. I, I don't know if there's many people that do that. I mean, they must exist. I I'm just, sure they exist, but for, not, for me, not as far as I've encountered. You know, I, I think that uh, sex, is, it's, sex is a fun thing, it's a healthy thing, but there are unhealthy ways to approach it, right? I think that there are people True. who, you know, if. The, if if, for instance, your sexual encounter is all about you, I think that's a problem. I think that, you know, if you're coming to a relationship with somebody, you should be interested in pleasing the other person. And that that should be part of the fun of of sex, to me at least. I mean, I'm not just in it for me. That seems very selfish. Right. That's, that's really what it's about, though, because it involves both of you and not just one person. Right. And um, if... If you want to maintain a meaningful relationship, you have to constantly communicate about those things. You can't just pretend like it's not a problem and then go off and do your own thing because that's really just saying that you don't want to you know, improve anything. So it's basically just going to die out. So what about the claim that the children could find the sex toys? We have to protect the children uh, from these sex toys. I have posted to our Facebook uh, Google Plus and Twitter, a what I consider to be pretty hilarious video. There's a production company in Montreal and Quebec uh, called Just for Laughs, and they have been producing these short, two-minute-long prank videos for a long time. Usually, they're usually they're somewhat elaborate pranks, uh, which involve a, a lot of setup. The one in this case is not very elaborate at all. It's just funny. So they've got a mom. She's got her purse and her kid. You know, the kid's maybe like six years old five years old perhaps they're sitting in a mall on a bench and mom gets up she's got to go to the bathroom or something like that and she asks she pulls over somebody and the way they set these up is they're not they don't use words they just kind of it's it's very international it can be played anywhere in the world so it's just people set to music so everyone understands what's happening and anyway mom pulls somebody over and gets them to sit with their kid for like you know two minutes while she goes and does something so while the the stranger is sitting there the kid starts going through its mom's purse and pulls out this huge dildo and it's just hilarious the people's <laughs> reaction to this happening right in front of them. Anyway, more coming up here. Hour number three is on the way. You can take control on Free Talk Live at 855-450 free. What if humans found a habitable planet, set up housekeeping, and then got left alone by Earth and its big government? Well, that happened in Freehold, Michael Z. Williamson's seminal work. Now available for the first time in a signed, limited hardback edition. Other books in this series are also available in paperback. I cannot recommend a modern fiction work more highly than Freehold. Earth might have left Freehold alone, but it doesn't stay that way. It's war. Get your copy right now at all major booksellers and shop.freetalklive.com. 
Stop harming your body with coffee from grocery stores or most chains. Start making a difference one cup at a time. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer you a free pound of BuzzBox coffee. It's organic, so no harmful pesticides or toxins. Shade grown, meaning less acidity and no heartburn. Try the best of the best for free. Just cover shipping. 10% of future purchases go toward helping us give the gift of human freedom around the globe with at least 100 microloans via World Vision. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. Did you know that Free Aid is a mutual aid, educational, and networking organization? At Free Aid, we support volunteers who provide first aid. We do outreach to the public about health and safety, and we bring together medically skilled freedom lovers. Free Aid is made possible by your generous support. Donors can receive great gifts like first aid kits, t shirts, silver dime cards, and hoodies. The Free Aid Silver Dime Card Project is sponsored in part by Roberts and Roberts Burkridge, Freedoms Phoenix, and Don't Tread on Meme. Visit fr33aid.com. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Friday, May 16, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,292, silver opened at $19.29, while Bitcoin is trading at $448.96. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from GrowYourOwnGroceries.org, now offering an eight-week course where you can learn to treat the most common family ailments with simple medicines that you can grow or easily find. Learn more at GrowYourOwnGroceries.org. And support comes from Bitmain Tech, creators of the newly released Antminer S2 Bitcoin Miner, one terahash and only 1,000 watts. Order yours today online, bitmaintech.com, or give them a call, 844-BITMAIN. That's 844-248-6246. In the news, on Thursday, the Federal Communications Commission voted in favor of a proposal that could charge websites for higher quality delivery of their content to American consumers. An example of this would be a service provider like Verizon charging a website like Netflix for the guarantee of flawless video streaming. Now, the proposal will be open for public comment over the next 120 days. Critics warn smaller companies would have trouble paying for faster delivery, and some predict anticipated costs might be passed on to consumers. A new study published in the Journal of Analytical Chemistry indicates that fluoride ions found in fluoridated water and toothpaste may lead to an increase in urinary stone disease. The study was conducted by chemists from Russia and Australia, led by Pavel Nestorenko at the University of Tasmania. The team studied 20 urinary stones from patients at a Russian hospital and discovered fluoride ions in 80% of the stones. That could be due to high levels of fluoride in patients' urine, possibly from drinking water containing fluorides and ingesting fluoride toothpaste. A federal appeals court halted the execution of convicted killer Robert Campbell Tuesday evening after his attorneys appealed his sentence citing mental impairment, making him ineligible for the death penalty. The execution would have been the first since Oklahoma's recent attempt to execute Clayton Lockett, who was convicted of murdering a 19-year-old girl. Officials stopped the procedure midway after Lockett regained consciousness and began showing signs of pain. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Affordable Sound, CD and DVD duplication along with posters and promotions materials. Mention promo code LIBERTY and when you order 10 or more posters, you get 10 free. Online affordablesound.com or call them up 512-459-5253. And support comes from Voice and Exit, maximizing human flourishing through radical innovation. Tickets on sale now. Get 10% off with promo code FREEDOM. June 21st at Austin Music Hall. Get yours at voiceandexit.com. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, May 16, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. A decision made by Pennsylvania Supreme Court in Commonwealth v. Gary affects the process in which police obtain warrants while conducting searches. Prior to the court's decision, police were required to obtain a warrant upon approval from a judge in order to search a vehicle during a traffic stop. Now police, and not just a judge, can decide whether to conduct a search. 
CBS Philadelphia reports that all items in the car are subject to search, including electronic devices such as cell phones. Dave Verdowski, civil rights attorney and professor at Penn Law School, says the change gives police officers with probable cause the right to search a vehicle without having to first obtain a warrant. On Thursday, an above-ground pipeline in Los Angeles spilled around 50,000 gallons of crude oil. The spill temporarily shut down the Atwater Village neighborhood. The fire department reported oil was knee-high in some areas. The company responsible for the spill has not yet been identified. One Chinese worker is dead and 90 others injured following a riot that occurred overnight Wednesday when a mob of around 1,000 stormed a Taiwanese steel mill in Vietnam. USA Today reports the riot is part of an ongoing anti-China protest movement prompted by Beijing's deployment of an oil rig in disputed seas. Taiwan-based companies, which employ many Chinese nationals, are incurring most of the violence and protests. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from The Cory Moore Show, live Friday nights, 9 o'clock central at CoryMooreShow.com. And support comes from Roberts & Roberts Brokerage, Inc., precious metals at reasonable rates since 1977, online at rrbi.co. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, May 16th, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting, reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. All experts agreed this week that the dying U.S. economy is no reason at all to stop investing in print media. Calling the newspaper and magazine industry a veritable cash cow with massive potential for growth, top experts everywhere said that aggressive investment in print media will pay off in spades and that newsprint is in no way threatened by internet news sites or online video content. Besides, everyone in the know agreed, loyal readers of newspapers would never, ever in a million years turn their back on the trusted print media industry that has always been there for them in good times and bad. This is the Onion News Network. It's the Onion Radio News. I'm Doyle Redland. Cardiologists announced today that test subjects who took a single aspirin tablet followed by a fifth of bonded Kentucky bourbon were 85% less likely to realize they were having a heart attack. Potential side effects for the new treatment include slurred speech, impaired vision, and vomiting. Doyle Redland for the Onion Radio News, online at theonion.com. This is Free Talk Live, and we're launching into the third hour of the program. You can bring up anything you want. Just dial in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Join us via Skype as well. We've got a Skype username of lrn.fm. You are welcome to reach out and get in touch with us. That way you do have to send a contact request first. It will be approved, and it'll be easy for you to connect with us on Skype. The us includes me, Ian. And Ellen. Ellen's here, courtesy of her radio show, ALP. You can visit her at alpshow.com. For those of you just tuning in, we have been talking about the woman filing suit in the Atlanta area. It's a city, a small city called Sandy Springs that has an ordinance banning the sale of sex toys. But that's not all. We, uh, I was digging in here during the, the news break. And actually pulled up a copy of the ordinance itself, what it was that was passed in 2009. And I, I have both the ordinance and the lawsuit against the ordinance pulled up here. The lawsuit is specifically against one section of this ordinance. The lawsuit is against only the section that prohibits sex toys. But what's not explained in the article that we were sharing earlier is this ordinance actually seems to ban everything of a sexual nature. So like pornography, romance novels, I mean, whatever, anything that's uh, that's prurient. So essentially, you're telling me that this woman's only wait, is it a woman or is there's it... a woman and a man actually okay. involved in this lawsuit? So they're they're going against this lawsuit only for the sex toys and not because of the pornography. That's correct. So even if they are successful in this suit, they will only be successful in overturning a section of this ordinance. The larger ordinance, the thrust, if you will, of the ordinance is to ban material that is obscene. They say that a person commits the offense of distributing 
so-called obscene material when the following occurs, and then the, the law goes, the ordinance goes through and says that you can't sell, rent, or lease to any person any obscene material. And what does obscene mean? They say that it's defined as, one, to the average person, applying contemporary community standards taken as a whole, it predominantly appeals to the prurient interest, that is, a shameful or morbid interest in nudity, sex, or excretion. Okay, so that's really vague. They were saying yes. the contemporary time, the contemporary majority of people... Contemporary community standards. Average that's, person. That's so vague. I don't know how they can explain that. But to me, the obscene thing is not uh, fulfilling a natural desire. The obscene thing is keeping people from doing that. Ooh, because that's what turns people to morbid desires. You're so right. I mean, the the restriction on sexuality is what results mm -hmm. in, in this sort of pur pur puritanism that we were talking about previously... Restricting people from learning about sex, from understanding sex, uh, from talking about sex, from observing sex, restricting people uh, to to stop, try to stop them from doing these things will seems to drive people to more deviant uh, sexual methods and orientations, things that are more unusual and more bizarre than you know standard vanilla sex. Right. Again, not I'm not you know ragging on anybody. Whatever you're into, whatever you're into is fine. But in a lot of cases. Certain sexual deviancies are as a result of people being repressed sexually. I think that it would be much healthier if people were to teach this to other people and to help them understand it so that they're not so confused or frightened when they find out about it on their own. I totally agree, but a lot of people are afraid to talk about these things, which is why many young people grow up with no knowledge whatsoever about sex beyond what they've seen from having to you know having to sneak watching porn or whatever online as a as a young child which of course is now even more accessible than it it would have been when I was uh, growing up and uh, you know that's not how you learn about sex you don't uh, learn about sex real sex from watching porn that's fantasy sex that has nothing very little to do with reality uh, sex right and, and I think that that develops a sort of unhealthy desire within people or an unhealthy practice because that's what they're trying to achieve is something that's not natural it's just acting basically it's it, yes uh, and it's usually male fantasy the porn's usually written by males it's directed uh by males so there's real problems with that and one could also point out that Americans' obsession with pornography may have to do with the fact that they have been sexually repressed as they are growing up. But there's a little bit more. I'll share the remainder of this here. This is their ordinance. I'm giving you excerpts from it. So they're saying you can't rent, sell, lease uh, to any person any obscene material, which they say has to do with uh, material that per, uh, predominantly appeals to the prurient interest uh, so you know that is a same. They claim they des describe that as a shameful or morbid interest in nudity, sex, or excretion. So that basically describes all porn. Shameful uh, or morbid interest? Is there a normal interest in that? Well, that's by just their it. definition. Yeah, that's just it. By their definition, normal interest in sex would probably be uh, vanilla sex between a husband and wife. They don't say that in the ordinance here, right. but that's that's suggestion. But they the have suggestion. to at least acknowledge that that happens. Like, premarital sex happens all the time, much more than marital sex. And some people would like to outlaw that, too, Ellen. I mean, there's some really sick, twisted people who are very, 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 very concerned with the sexual interests of other people. Uh, number two, the material they say taken as a whole. This is, to, this is their test to determine whether something is obscene. The material taken as a whole lacks serious, literary, artistic political, or scientific value. And number three, the material depicts or describes in a patently offensive way sexual conduct specifically defined as follows, acts of sexual intercourse, heterosexual or homosexual, normal or perverted, actual or stimulated, or simulated rather, acts of masturbation, acts involving excretory functions or lewd exhi exhibition of the genitals, acts of bestiality, or the fondling of sex organs of animals, or sexual acts of flagellation, torture, or other violence indicating a sadomasochistic sexual relationship. So basically all pornography fits this description. Now, I'm not saying that I think that, you know, there's no literary, artistic, political, or scientific value in porn, but they certainly will say that. But, you know, that's just, I have to call bullshit on that. Oh, you can't say that on I'll... the radio. I'm going to have to dump you on that one, Ellen. You can't say that on the radio. Excuse me. Tisk, I'm sorry. Tisk. You're going I to have I forgot to call BS. Is, <laughs> I'm going to have to call BS on that because there's plenty of other video games and videos and pretty much 
anything you could look at that lacks literary or scientific value. Absolutely. Like, look at the game Flappy Birds. It's probably one of the most popular games out there. It's and a dumb game. It has really no value whatsoever besides keeping you distracted <laughs> for a few minutes. Oh, that game. That game is so hard. Have you played it? Have you tried playing Flappy Bird? No. I've I've heard about it. I've watched people play it. I refuse to waste my time playing it. It is a huge time sink. See, I'm not going to write up a ban on Flappy Birds because right. it's a waste of time. I'm just going to choose to not play it myself, and uh, I feel like that's the easier choice here. Well, Flappy Bird wouldn't qualify because it doesn't have to do with sex, right? Right, so. but I'm just saying they can't use the excuse that it lacks literary value or scientific or economic or anything like that. Now, by the way, the wording here is fairly boilerplate. This isn't something that Sandy Springs just came up with. There are descriptions or definitions in federal law about obscenity that are very, very similar. In the radio business, the FCC has uh, certain obscenity statutes or whatever, their code, I guess, F uh, federal code, that says basically very similar things like, you know, based on contemporary community standards, the average person. So there are these very nebulous concepts that essentially open it up to, well, whatever we think is bad is porn. You know, we know it when we see it. And you shouldn't sell it. So essentially, Sandy Springs, Georgia, this is an all-out ban on anything related to sex, not just sex toys, but also pornography. The sections I just read to you were sections A and B, portions of sections A and B of this. It's only section C, which is about the devices for use primarily, they say, in stimulation of human genital organs is also considered obscene material. So this is an ordinance that bans what they consider to be obscene material. And in the definition of obscene material, there's all kinds of, you know, basically every porn out there and sex toys. So only the sex toy aspect of this is being challenged. So this is a pretty weak uh, lawsuit in the first place. It, it really doesn't it really doesn't stand to do more than overturn a two sentence section of this code especially because of the uh the contemporary reason behind this because contemporary beliefs could be just about anything especially religious right and who's the average person how do you determine what an average person thinks about sex that's a great question <laughs> 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Apparently possessing the sex toys and porn is fine. It's the sell sales of it or the leasing or renting of it. More coming up here on Free Talk Live. Are you planning a vacation and trying to make your whole family happy? I want a hotel with convenient locations and continental breakfast. It better have internet. Don't forget, we're on a budget. America's Best Value Inn has you covered with all this and more at most of our 1,000 hotels in North America. Plus, join the Value Club for instant room discounts, upgrades, and late checkout. Yes, I can sleep in. Visit AmericasBestValueInn.com and make even your grumpiest teenager happy. Breathe it in, kid. Clean, fresh air thanks to these new air handler filters. They're more energy efficient, hold more dust, and are stronger than ever. And Granger's got over 3,000 different styles and sizes to choose from. Just ordered a new batch from Granger.com today. I love oxygen, kid. And this facility's got some great AO2. I'm breathing easier just thinking about these air handler filters. Get some today. Get it? Got it? Good. Call, click Granger.com slash air handler or stop by. Granger. For the ones who get it done. Adam Miller here with Midas Resources. Today, April 21st, 2014, gold opened at $12.98 and 80 cents. A one ounce gold coin can be purchased for $13.46, $6.73 for a half ounce, or $3.36 and 50 cents for a quarter ounce. That's $13.46, $6.73, and $3.36.50. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? Wait a sec. Gold and silver is going up while Congress is trying to settle on the next debt increase. And there's no end to this madness. That old 401k and IRA can be converted into physical gold without tax consequences. I explain this in my book, 10 Reasons to Buy Gold. Don't let time slip away. Call for your free copy today, 800-686-2237. Get away from that Washington spin and get honest answers about gold. 800-686-2237. The book is free, 800-686-2237. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. 
and they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keene. Keene is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keene is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877 9938 if you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. We'll take your calls about whatever's on your mind. All you have to do is dial in toll-free here to 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And you can join us online. Just head over to freetalklive.com and enjoy the features uh, that you'll find there. We give them all away at freetalklive.com. Shinybadges.com, you've probably heard their catchy jingle if you've been listening to Free Talk Live for a little while, whether online or via podcast or on the radio. Shinybadges.com has some great products. They are beautiful badges that you can uh, that you can attach to whatever your T-shirt, your hat. In my case, I put them on my backpack. Uh, very cool badges, and they now have a brand new section of their website, the Causes tab. Meaning that when you buy something from the Causes tab at Shinybadges.com, your purchase price, a portion of it, will go to uh, different organizations as a donation to various different liberty-oriented projects. So, for instance, you got the Cop Block badge, which benefits Cop Block, obviously enough. There's also the Silk Road pin, which is brand new. It's got the Silk Road logo emblazoned as a uh, fancy pin. And you can go to Shiny Badges to get that. And you'll uh, a portion of your purchase will go to the Ross Ulbricht Legal Defense Fund. There's also an anonymous pin that benefits the Electronic Frontier Foundation. The Shire Society pin benefits Shire Sharing and more. Go and see for yourself. These are great quality products at a really killer price. Shinybadges.com. It's a great way to start a conversation with your neighbors. And uh, again, that's shinybadges.com. So uh, let's go to the phones here. You can bring up whatever's on your mind. There's maybe a little bit more to talk about with the sex toy slash porn ban in Sandy Springs, Georgia. Ellen is with me here tonight. We go to the phones and to the fun. We've got Skype where Nathan is on the line in Texas. Go ahead, Nathan. Uh, good evening, everyone. Hey. Hey. Uh, when you brought up circular reasoning, I thought of two examples where uh, circular reasoning of circular reasoning that stand out in my mind. One is the attempts over the centuries to prove what's called the parallel postulate in geometry. It's this idea that through one point uh, and a given, if, if you have a line and a point, then there's only one line you can draw parallel to the given line through the point. And it had the property that you couldn't really, there was no logical way to derive it from the other facts that people knew. Mm -hmm. So what you had was over hundreds of years, people came up with all kinds of crazy arguments and a lot, of, most of them were circular because there just wasn't enough evidence available to prove this fact. So people ended up assuming this fact in a lot of ingenious and clever ways and then proving it. Hmm. All right. So what and are you saying about the parallel postulate? 
Well, there, there wasn't enough uh, evidence to derive it from the known facts of geometry. And so people, since there was not enough evidence to derive it, people just restated it in a bunch of really clever ways, which, were, which was valuable, but also didn't actually establish it. And uh, the other kind of circular reasoning, and this is, a, this is one of my favorites, um, I first found, I became aware of it when I read the Crito. Have you read that, Ian? The Crito? Uh-huh. I have not. What is it? It's a dialogue by Plato where Socrates is basically having a dialogue with the state. And uh, he, he, there's some great arguments in here I'd really like to talk with you about, but uh, I'll have to wait for another day. It's the one where he says the state is more valued and uh, more to be, uh, let's see, more, uh, higher and more valuable far than any mother or father or ancestor. <laughs> That's a direct quote. Um, so he gives a couple arguments for the state, or rather the state is kind of personified and arguing for itself. Okay. And uh, the second half of the Crito, it, the argument that it gives is one that you've probably heard a million times. You know, you're here, you're in this territory, you're in this country, you have agreed to follow the rules that our country has. I certainly have heard that a million times. Are you suggesting that is a circular argument? Right. And uh, I learned this from the Mises Institute, and it's one of my, it's one of my favorite examples of a circular argument. Because if you, if you think about it the following way, imagine that I come to your house, uh, or rather that I'm in your house, and you demand that I wear the funny hat. Now, since I'm in your house, then you have some justification for you know, asking that I follow your rules. And that makes sense. But now suppose instead that I just move in next door, and then you, you show up at my doorstep and you say, I'd like you to wear this funny hat. You know? And I, I say, well, well why? And you respond, well, you, you kind of moved into this neighborhood. You uh, implicitly agreed to follow my orders and commands when you moved in next door to me, <laughs> you know, and it doesn't, it doesn't follow at all. And so taking it back to the example of a state, what's happening is the, the, the person giving this argument is saying that because you are in the state's territory, you have the obligation to follow their orders. But it's circular because it's assuming that the state has – you know, they legitimately acquired uh, dominion over that territory. Well, they believe that they certainly have uh, legitimately acquired it. And you can ask them how the state uh, people have come to that. How, how did that obligation get created is a good question to ask. But ultimately, they can just claim that, well, we voted. We voted for some politicians and they passed a law. And so therefore, you're obligated. And to them, that'll be an explanation. Uh, but to you, that won't satisfy. Right, because you're you're basically begging the question of, well, how did you legitimately come to have this dominion in the first place? Just like whether, just like it really matters if you're demanding I wear the, the hat, it matters whether I'm in your house or whether I'm in my house. Mm -hmm. So in the same way with the state, it, uh, you can say that you can give, you can argue that I have to follow the orders of this person, but it's circular if you can't provide a justification for why, why it's, uh, why I should do that. But a lot of times, just like in the first case, there's no evidence to establish the conclusion. So you kind of end up making a circular argument. In this case, I think it's more kind of dishonest because I guess the person making this argument, the state, kind of they kind of want you to obey them, but they don't want to say that, right? That kind of <laughs> yeah. sounds bad. Like, we voted. We it's okay. To, we want you to obey us and give us tax money, right? That that mm -hmm. doesn't really fly well with the voters. So. <laughs> In this case, I think there's more, maybe less honesty than in the first case. Thanks, Nathan, for your call tonight. I do appreciate hearing from you. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE, and you may Skype into the show. Our Skype username, lrn.fm, and if you are on Skype, you may sound as good as Nathan does in or did in that case. We've got Temper on the line, also on Skype. Hey, Temper. Hey, how's it going? What's on your mind tonight? So, I recently went to Denver, Colorado. Oh, okay. And um, there's kind of a, say, a freedom experiment going on there. Um, you might know what I'm talking about, but uh, they have legalized recreational marijuana use. They sure have. Uh, by ballot measure back in 2012, it went into effect uh, this year. Yep. And so I went to uh, see the city burn in effigy from all the the crime and rampant craziness that would happen when you legalize marijuana. Turned out that didn't happen, huh? Actually, I thought it was pretty orderly. Mm -hmm. um, and, I mean, there's nothing more convenient than going to a store to be able to pick up 
uh, produce um, or whatever you want to call it. You're buying um, flowers. I mean, they're dried flowers, basically, is what uh, cannabis is, the buds of uh, the cannabis plant. Now, Temper, had you had experience previously with buying cannabis on the black market? I've been buying uh, cannabis for about 15 years or so. I would like you to basis. tell more about your experience in Colorado, if you don't mind. Hang on. We'll bring back Temper calling from Legal Land. On Skype, our toll-free number tonight is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Drugs and sex tonight here on Free Talk Live. You can take control of the airwaves, and you can bring up anything you'd like. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. More with Ian and Ellen coming up here in moments. If you owe the IRS back taxes, listen carefully. Sweeping changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever eliminate their tax debts once and for all. And now, thanks to Dan Pillow, you can get the tax help you need to end your tax nightmare. Hi, I'm Dan Pillow. I've helped thousands of people reduce or eliminate tax debts they couldn't pay. And after more than 30 years of experience dealing with the IRS, I can tell you there's no such thing as a hopeless tax case. With the IRS's new policies, it's easier than ever to put your tax debt behind you once and for all. Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. Call 800-346-6829. Learn how I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. Or go to my website, TaxHelpOnline.com. That's TaxHelpOnline.com. Uh, excuse me, is this where I get a license to start a new business? I wouldn't be hasty. You have to get a license to go out of business, too, you know. Oh, well, look, I've invented this little anti-gravity machine, see? Oh, is that why you're walking two inches above the floor? <laughs> oh, yes, it's it's very comfortable. It saves on shoe leather. Yeah, well, you have to fill out these forms and report to the Human Services Department of Manpower Orientation and register with the Fair Employment Practice Commission, just the Wage and Hour Division of the Employment Standards Administration, the State Sales and Income Tax Division, the Internal Revenue Service, look, and the I Social Security Administration of the Department of Health, Education, and Wealth. Fair, and of course, OSHA. OSHA? I thought that was a little town in Wisconsin. You'll find out. Say, floating around like that could be dangerous. Have you checked with the Consumer Product Safety Commission? Well, not yet. Come to think of it, you actually are flying, aren't you? Look, you need to go over to the Federal Aviation Administration and the Transportation... It's very hard to get anything done these days if you're in business, but Free Enterprise built this country. Think what could happen if we don't keep it free. A public service of this station and the Center for the Defense of Free Enterprise, Bellevue, Washington. We just can't have people floating about unregulated, you know. Imagine for a moment a radio program, the most personal of mediums, that reaches hundreds of thousands of people on more than 140 radio stations across the U.S. and around the world through the Internet, with podcasts and live streams. Imagine the advertising is affordable from $600 to $6,000 a month. Free Talk Live is that program. We will work with you to get clicks, calls, views, or sales. Email me at mark at freetalklive.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. 
You can put the Liberty Radio Network on the air in your area. Visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how. Broadcast.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and you may bring up whatever you'd like. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. With you tonight, Ian here. And Ellen. Ellen's here courtesy of ALP. That's her radio show. You can go to alpshow.com to get more of Ellen and her co-host, Allie, as well. We're going to go back to your phone calls and thoughts. And also want to invite you to get a free pound of some of the best coffee you'll ever taste, BuzzBox Coffee. It's shade-grown, 100% organic, and top 1% grade Arabica. This is great coffee. I mean, if that were all BuzzBox were, were, that would be enough reason to get your free pound. And All you have to do is pay the shipping cost. The pound itself will cost you nothing. Uh, that's a good reason to get started with BuzzBox, but there's another reason that really separates BuzzBox from other high-end coffee producers out there, and that is that they actually have set up a program that allows people around the world to buy into their coffee co-op. And in addition to that... They're helping finance people's businesses through microloans offered through World Vision. So for every 10 listeners that Free Talk Live supplies, if you're a Free Talk Live listener and you go to coffee.freetalklive.com and you get on their auto ship program, for every 10 listeners that subscribes at coffee.freetalklive.com, that'll finance one microloan to somebody in a difficult part of the world to live in and help them change their lives by offering people in poverty an opportunity to, uh, to get out of that. And so it's a big program here. It's a big concept. You order coffee, you get something really delicious, and part of the money that you're spending on that, because you basically you go to coffee.freetalklive.com, you get your first pound free, and you get on an auto ship program. You can adjust the amount of weeks in between shipments. And then a portion of that price goes to help people make a better life for themselves. So go to coffee.freetalklive.com, get your free pound of coffee tonight, and again, you just pay the shipping costs and you're good to go. Coffee.freetalklive.com, you can cancel your subscription at any time. We go back to Temper, who has taken a trip recently to Colorado, and uh, which, which city was it, Denver? Yes, it was Denver. So you went to Denver. I was actually looking at a map the other day. There's like weed, I think it's weedmaps.com org or com i forget which one but you can actually look on a map and see where all of these distribu- uh, distribution facilities are there's of course recreational and medical distribution of cannabis in colorado and there are a bevy of them i mean there's so so many uh from which to choose and you were I kind went of to over a dozen of them and- oh my goodness and how long did it take you to go to that many not very long. I mean, every couple of blocks on some roads, there was, you know, one right after another, which is awesome. Oh, know? man. Now, what's this like? So you were saying that you have, for 15 years, been buying cannabis on the black market, and there's various different ways purchases like that can go. You can have a, a dealer that's on the up and up, or you can, you know, and then they'll sell you what they're actually offering, and then there's somebody that'll meet you in the back alley, and you'll get robbed. Uh, so, you know, there's a there's a whole range of experiences in the black market. How do you compare your experience in actually just being able to buy something in a store to what the way things are for most people? Let me just say this that you can never understand freedom until you experience it. And that was kind of what it was like, is somebody who has, you know, broken the law and bought this substance for years, and no matter how good of a dealer you have, it's always a hassle, always a hassle. It's it's hit or miss and timelines and driving here and doing this and that, and it's just a hassle. And so to go to the store and just be able to buy it like any other produce is just mind-altering in Hmm. itself. But more than that, the innovations that they're coming out with this substance, like I drank um, marijuana soda or whatever you want to call it. Uh, It was called. That's interesting. I can't even remember what it was called. Probably from drinking too much soda, but um, it was it wasn't that bad. I wouldn't say it was good. You could definitely taste it. Yeah, but it was a lot better than I had imagined. See, I've tried and, something called a tincture before, mm-hmm. which I'm guessing is like purified extract with alcohol in it. Sounds right. Yep, Green Dragon, for instance, is one of them. 
Uh, I've never tried one of those, but just imagine orange soda with uh, marijuana infused in it. I mean, that's <laughs> are they it. sold in cans? Like you crack a can of soda open? Like it that. was so professional. It, I mean, it had like the label on it, and it was all sealed and all that good stuff. Wow. Like, you couldn't tell that it didn't come from a Coca-Cola fact. I probably shouldn't have said a brand, but you couldn't tell it wasn't like, you know, made in a fact. And in fact, it probably was made in a factory somewhere. Like it was completely legit. Like my favorite was the, the sweet and sour, um, uh, sugar bears or whatever they are. They're, they're basically, um, uh, sh- sh- Gummy uh bears, sour right? patch kit, uh, yeah. sour patch kids. But they have pot in them, and they're just so awesome. Incredible. They taste, they taste delicious. And there's uh, 10 milligrams of uh, 100% pure THC. Wow! And each one. Now, don't listen to me. This is not medical advice. I was eating like 10 or 12 of them a day, and so I was just lit up like the whole day. Like I got, <laughs> I got lost on the the public transit. Like I I d- decided I wasn't gonna drive because I was gonna be safe and all that. So I bought the day pass for the public transit, and you get to ride on all the buses and all the trains for like six bucks or something like that. Mm-hmm. So I've and heard I got there's all sorts of other uh, products like brownies or uh, crispy anything treats or you can imagine. In fact, the only thing that pissed me off is I couldn't get a hold of pills. They have mm. weed pills, and I thought those would be so awesome, but they're only for the medical red car oh. cards. Now, I heard there was actually an article I have here that we haven't had a chance to get into yet. I don't know if we ever will, so I'll just summarize it. But basically, they found they were actually ran the numbers and they found that the medical pot in Colorado is cheaper than the recreational cannabis. Oh, it's a lot cheaper. In fact, I'd say it's half. In fact, what's going on is the people with the red cards, they go to the store and they buy it at their prices and then they turn around and it magically (laughs) ends up on Craigslist. For a donation, if you know what I mean. Now, is it still illegal to sell pot without some sort of government permit, right? So, like, somebody selling on uh, Craigslist, would they still be guilty of, uh, you know, sales? That's why they don't make sales. They they give you free pot in exchange for a donation. I see. I see. Um, Interesting. So- now, so you went to a dozen stores, and this was all in one day? Yeah, and in fact, I used Lyft. Uh, I'm sure you guys know what Lyft is. Yeah, the car sharing, uh, ride sharing service. And yeah, for the viewers that don't know, there's there's Lyft, Uber, and Boxcar or something Mm -hmm. like that. And you basically is the coolest thing in the world. You open up your phone, you open up the app that looks like Google Maps, and there's a button at the bottom that says "Pick me up" or something like that. You hit that button. And somebody comes and picks you up and drives. See, I got lost on the subway. I didn't even know where I was. Like somewhere in Denver, just completely lost. And right. Google Maps was no help with the navigation. It would tell you to get on the train and go towards such and such street, but there was no sign that said that. So unless you knew the city, the navigation it gave was just worthless. Okay. So I finally, after riding the train for like an hour, just getting more and more lost, I just got off the train. I hit the lift button and I talked to her. She had a red card and she took me to her favorite uh, dispensary. That's pretty awesome. You can just talk to people in the city about it now. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, it was like 16 bucks for a 20, 25 minute ride. I mean, Mm -hmm. that's that's got to beat the cab ride. It has to. Hands down. So, I mean, total, uh, you know, pricing, you were buying recreational. It's a little pricier than medical. Would you say it's it's cheaper still than black market prices? The recreational. Um, I've I've been buying since I said like 99 and and when I started buying, funny enough, it was about fifty dollars an eighth mm-hmm. for some pretty good stuff. Right. And on the black market, I still seem to spend about fifty dollars an eighth uh, for pretty good stuff. Yeah. Um, but they had deals where it was, you know, twenty five dollars an eighth. Wow. For just like and- some bomb. Pot, right? That's yes. the great thing of capitalism. And so many choices, so many different types of uh, I cannabis. bought so many different kinds. I couldn't <laughs> even tell you all the names. Thanks uh, uh, for the call, Temper. I love the, the personal experience. I really appreciate hearing from you tonight. Toll-free number. If you want to share your thoughts, your story, your opinion, Colorado, 
Washington as well, legalizing cannabis. Very exciting stuff. More coming up here in moments here on Free Talk Live. May I have your attention, please? If you are trying to lose weight, we need your help. We're AF Plus, and we have too much product and too few participants in our nationwide risk-free trial. If you need to lose 30 pounds or more and would like to participate, call now, 1-800-967-9495. AF Plus is an amazing, proven breakthrough in weight loss, a once-daily capsule that can help you lose weight in days. It's also one of the healthiest ways to lose weight because each capsule contains natural ingredients, including green tea extract. You'll boost your metabolic heart rate, allowing you to shed pounds in days with just one capsule a day. Be among the first to call for your risk-free trial. Again, we have too many risk-free trials and too few participants. If you would like to lose 30 pounds or more by taking just one all-natural capsule a day, call now to participate in this nationwide risk-free trial, 1-800-967-9495. That number again is 1-800-967-9495. You've been lied to. Lied to by corrupt Washington politicians and the Wall Street propaganda machine. My name is Brett Kitchen, and I want to give you a free copy of my Inc. Magazine best-selling book, Safe Money Millionaire, because Wall Street's 401k and other investment plans have failed millions of Americans. After losing 35% in my IRA in the crash several years ago, I said enough. Since then, I've discovered an IRS-approved way to safely grow my money up to 12 to even 17%, cut taxes dramatically, but also have my money protected when the next crash comes. Call now to talk with a specialist to discover this little-known strategy to potentially build a million-dollar tax-free retirement income, get potential 12 to 17% returns, and never lose when the next crash hits. Call 888-885-8820 and discover this tool that people like Walt Disney and J.C. Penney used to safely grow rich. Plus, get one of just 97 free books left. We even cover shipping and handling. Call 888-885-8820. 888-885-8820. Again, that's 888-885-8820. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here. And I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. When I found the Free State Project, I knew it was the key to achieving liberty in my lifetime. It's awesome to be surrounded by like-minded, freedom-loving activists who've moved here to New Hampshire. From politics to civil disobedience, we have it all. Where I came from, it felt that no matter what I did, liberty was dying. Perhaps you feel the same way? Call 888-377-2515 now to learn more about the Free State Project. That's 888-377-2515 or visit freestateproject.org. You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at facebook.lrn.fm. That's facebook.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and you can take control toll-free here at 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. And we've got Skype. Skype into the show. Username is lrn.fm. Send a contact request. It will be approved, uh, and then it'll be easy for you to call us on Skype. Don't forget, you can get interactive at freetalklive.com. You can support the show by becoming a Free Talk Live amplifier at amp.freetalklive.com. The AMP, uh, AMP stands for Advertise, Market, and Promote. The idea is you send five bucks a month into Free Talk Live, 
and then we invest that five dollars into the show. We get on more radio stations. Uh, and by the way, speaking of getting on more radio stations, I want to welcome our brand newest stations in Walla Walla, Washington, KUJ. It's your news talk leader, 1420 KUJ, and now on at 102.3 FM. So we got an AM FM combo in Walla Walla, Washington, coming on board for all of our weeknights, which I'm very excited about. That is good news. Yep, yeah, they're going to take the show delayed. So if you're listening in Walla Walla, you've probably already noticed this is not. Uh, your typical talk radio show. Not only is it open phones every night, but we also have a viewpoint that's pretty much unheard of in syndicated talk radio. And many of you still may be reeling from the fact that apparently they had some sports show on. So this is definitely not uh, sports talk radio. <laughs> but feel free to uh, to get interactive with us here. We do the show 7 to 10 Eastern time. So if you're listening in Walla Walla or anywhere else where you're not listening between those hours of 7 and 10 Eastern at night, then you're not listening live. If you're not listening live and you still want to interact with the show, you can. You just make a note in your schedule to call the show during our live hours and bring up whatever it is you want to bring up. And then later on, when you're listening on your local radio station or later via podcast, for instance, uh, you'll be able to hear yourself. So feel free to get interactive with us, even if you aren't listening live. That's totally cool here on Free Talk Live. And again, welcome aboard to all of our new listeners. You can check us out at freetalklive.com. But the AMP program helps us bring on new radio stations by helping us reach out to those stations by phone and uh, through industry advertising. We're also doing Google AdWords to bring internet listeners on board. So we want it to be where people search for generic things like talk radio that they'll find Free Talk Live. And they are. In fact, the Google AdWords have resulted in an increase. Uh, and and I, I guess I can't say for sure it was the Google AdWords, but they have coincided. The uh, The use of Google AdWords has coincided with an increase, a 28% increase in podcast downloads for Free Talk Live. So more people are listening now. And I believe that has to do with the Google AdWords. So you can become an amplifier at amp.freetalklive.com. You get perks like access to the AMP-only call-in lines, the AMP-only podcast forum, the brand new AMP-only Facebook group, and more. And you help us out a lot. And you, by the way, will get your AMP dollars matched. So when you, uh, for the next several months, we've got matching contributors who are ponying up. So if you do five bucks a month for AMP, we'll get another five dollars from the matching contributors. And to extra, give you a little bit of extra incentive, the little extra push that you might need to go ahead and sign up for AMP. We're also doing the Bitcoin AMP money back thing that we did late last year, where if you become an amplifier for $5 a month, we'll actually send you $5 worth of Bitcoin back for the first month. So if you've never gotten Bitcoin before, if you've been thinking about getting Bitcoin, this is a perfect excuse to do it. Uh, you don't have to actually pay for your first month's AMP. Essentially, you get it back in Bitcoin when you go to amp.freetalklive.com and get signed up. Just uh, If you want to get that b uh, Bitcoin bonus, just email me your Bitcoin wallet address once you've signed up for the AMP program. My email address is ian at freetalklive.com. We'll continue here. Uh, Ellen, you had uh, come across net neutrality, and you sound like you're relatively new to the concept. Am I right about that? Well, I guess you could say officially. Um, I've, like read about a few he things here and there before, but this is uh, something that really just took me by surprise, seeing as it was uh, such a large factor in the way that the internet would function if this was to actually happen. Um, there's uh, something being discussed right now uh, in the FCC about passing a proposal on internet fast lanes, basically. So what would happen would be... Well, I guess I could just read this article. Um, it's From by... Where? Reuters.com. Reuters. Mm -hmm. Reuters. Okay. <laughs> U.S. Er, regulators on Thursday advanced a net neutrality proposal that would ban internet pro providers from blocking or slowing down access to websites, but may let them change con or charge content companies for faster and more reliable delivery of their traffic to users. So, I don't really have a problem with um, providers choosing uh, what they want to provide, I guess, because mm -hmm. that that's their prerogative. But when you restrict, well, I guess they're not restricting or slowing down access to websites, but if these companies are paying for faster, more reliable delivery, then that's basically opening up a market to where they can drown out pretty much any other website if they don't have as much funding. So I, I could, I just see how this could end up going down a really bad road, especially if there's uh, websites being funded by outside organizations like the U.S. government, which I know is behind part of this. 
For four months now, the public can weigh in on the rules proposed by the Federal Communications Commission in what promises to be an intense tug of war between some tech companies and consumer advocates on one side and Republicans and broadband providers on the other over the extent to which the agencies can regulate Internet traffic. Dozens protested the vote at the FCC on Thursday as many consumers advocate, advocates have rejected FCC Chairman Tom Wheeler's proposal that may allow some commercially re reasonable deals in which content companies could pay broadband providers to prioritize traffic on their networks. So this issue has been floating around now for the last year or so, year or two, this net neutrality as it's called, and... The idea of net neutrality, my understanding of it is that all all ISPs, internet service providers, people moving internet traffic, the backbones of the internet, the people that are, uh, you know, that are providing connections from one point to another, that they should be neutral. That they should, uh, that the advocates of net neutrality say these people should be neutral. These businesses should be neutral. They should be content. Ignorant, essentially, right. that whatever they be data is flowing completely should, unbiased should flow at the same rate. The advocates against net neutrality are saying, "Hey, these are their businesses. They should be able to sell different tiered services and classes. And what's the big deal with that? Um, how do you feel about it, Ellen? I'm not really sure where you where you're coming from. Well, I just think that this is going to end up uh, with a lot of confusion, mostly because. Uh, the internet providers, they're going to start, when they create this fast lane, there's going to be websites that are much easier to get to. And that means that the websites that aren't paying for this fast lane mm -hmm. are going to be, become more difficult to get to. And are I, they though? I mean, it, I, I just think that um, it's kind of, it's a form of censorship, I would say, just in the fact that it, uh, it de what's the word I'm trying to think of here? I'm sorry. They're they're basically setting up uh, an initiative for people to go to these websites. So the idea would be that like YouTube would pay to have that fast lane, right? Where you would be able to easily access their content. And so in theory, then you wouldn't go to some of their competitors. But um is it all right for a, an internet service provider to charge people for different tiers of internet speed? I mean, right now, uh, we're on a business class connection with Time Warner Cable here in Keene, New Hampshire, and I pay quite a bit. I pay $230 a month for that business class connection. You can get a similar speed connection from Time Warner. The same speed, you can get that with a residential class for like 75 bucks a month. So my class, business class costs more because it's a qu higher quality of service, as they call it. So, uh, for instance, the packets that I send, the, the data that this location sends, prioritized. We pay more, right. so you know we have priority. Uh, you know, also the business class has its own tier. So there's there's two tiers, right? So there's the residential and the business tier. The business class has their own dedicated bandwidth. So if you're on your residential class connection across the street and you're just downloading all kinds of torrents and uploading whatever, it won't affect me because I'm on a completely different connection. And I pay more for that because, well, you know, we're in business here and uh, right. having our streams stream without interruption is a very important thing. So there's nothing wrong with that, right? Well, there's nothing wrong with paying for a better service, but when this is this is being advocated by the FCC to regulate internet traffic, I just I don't think that that's something that should be regulated by the government. I just think if people want better service from a website like YouTube or Google, they can pay for that specifically. And I I just I don't know. I guess I'm a little confused here as to what specifically is going yeah. to happen. I don't know but. why they need a law to allow a business to charge different amounts for different services. I think that's what they're doing here is there. And if, if we're wrong about this or I'm wrong, please call tomorrow and, uh, and call us out. But the original proposal was that net neutrality should be legislated to prohibit businesses from charging for different tiers. Now they're talking about making regulations that will allow businesses to charge for different tier service. 
And uh, unfortunately, we don't have much more time to talk about it. But I think that uh, I think it's much ado about nothing. I think that the people on the internet are going to demand fairness, and that if they don't get fairness from one company, they'll switch to another provider. But we're out of time tonight. We'll be back tomorrow at freetalklive.com. In the meantime, there's a tr- I've been told no in many way. different ways. I give you an order, and you're going to obey it. Who told you to go this way? You can do that, and you have to leave here. You cannot bring Simon to the rally. Well, I'm, I'm, no, I'm comfortable here, actually. Whoa, 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 hey, 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 who do you think you Excuse are? Excuse me. There is no video or audio allowed in this office. No, I have work today. This you is, you ain't gonna make it. Wait, no, now. Wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, hey, oh my God, unbelievable. Why are you running from me? Because you're scared me. What you am I being now. detained for? You're being served. What is this? have a funny way of telling people no. That's the sound of the men working on the chain. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Nestle Tollhouse Morsels, helping you create special moments and memories your family will cherish forever. Visit us at Tollhouse.com. You may bake for birthdays and holidays, but why stop there? Sweeten up the rest of the year by designating monthly dessert days. Treat your family to one of their favorites or surprise them with something new. Either way, you'll create a tradition everyone will love. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, Buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. The Corey Moore Show is coming up next, live after the news, here on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. Radio VR. Good morning and welcome to Radio VR. We're broadcasting from Washington, D.C. and around the world on voiceofrussia.com slash U.S. I'm Rick Young. Today is Friday, May 16th, 2014. Radio VR News. There are mixed results for firefighters trying to contain wildfires around San Diego, California. Ed Dunne reports on the massive effort to put out California's raging fires. Some of the fires have been put out, and thousands have been able to return home. But San Marcos is a different story. It's creating its own weather pattern there as it sucks oxygen in um, to continue to burn. Dave Allen with Cal Fire says fuel and topography are driving the flames in San Marcos. San Diego County Supervisor Diane Jacob says overall progress is being made. Stay alert, be prepared, and most of all, don't do anything that might spark a fire. Cooler temperatures and lighter winds are moving into the San Diego area. I'm Ed Donahue. The State Department admits it could have been quicker to designate Boko Haram as a terrorist organization. But as Jerry Bordlander reports, the U.S. did not make that move, they say, based upon the government of Nigeria. The State Department wanted to add the militant group to the foreign terror organization list two years ago, but Nigeria opposed the move, fearing it would give the group more credibility. Republicans are criticizing former Secretary of State Hillary Rodham Clinton for not making the move, and Senator Marco Rubio asked Principal Deputy Secretary of State Robert Jackson if it was a mistake. We might have done it earlier. I think the important thing is that we have done it and that we've offered a reward for the leadership of Boko Haram's location. Jackson says the U.S. will now be quicker to act on its own assessments. Jerry Bodlander, Capitol Hill. Secretary of State John Kerry says America and its allies are set to redouble their efforts to aid Syria's opposition and see that President Bashar al-Assad leaves office. What else correspondent Mark Smith reports? At a meeting in London, Kerry told reporters Assad's plans to get himself re-elected next month are a farce. And he says in the face of gains by government forces, aid to the rebels will be ramped up. Assad may think today he's doing better and this process is somehow uh, going to come to a close with him sitting pretty. The answer is 
No. However, Kerry would not say if the U.S. might supply weapons to those rebels, and he says neither side will ever gain a military victory, hence the continued need for talks leading to a political settlement. Mark Smith at the White House. The House committee has again subpoenaed the Secretary of State to testify about Benghazi. Correspondent Jerry Bodlander reports on why the eighth GOP Benghazi probe wants John Kerry. House Oversight and Government Reform Committee Chairman Darrell Issa has issued a subpoena for Secretary of State John Kerry to appear in two weeks. An earlier subpoena that called for Kerry to appear next week to talk about the attack on the U.S. consulate was withdrawn because Kerry will be in Mexico. But ISA says the State Department then wouldn't commit to making Kerry available and suggested someone else testify in his place. Given what he called the State Department's slippery tactics, ISA said he had no choice but to issue the new subpoena. Jerry Bodlander, Capitol Hill. The Pentagon is reporting that it has punished hundreds of workers for sexual harassment. Jackie Quinn has the latest. In its first formal report on sexual harassment prompted by congressional criticism, the Pentagon says there were more than 1,300 complaints of sexual harassment in the fiscal year ending September 30th. Almost 500 workers were disciplined or fired. In the vast majority of cases, the victim was a young, lower-ranking woman, and the offender was a senior enlisted man. In many cases, there's a link between sexual harassment and sexual assault, and victims are being encouraged to come forward. Jackie Quinn, Washington. As the battle between Donald Sterling and the NBA continues to play out, speculation on who would prevail heats up. Correspondent Shirley Smith reports on the possible legal battle that could take place between the league and the embattled owner. Experts say Los Angeles Clippers owner Donald Sterling would probably lose if he mounts a legal challenge to the NBA's efforts to force him out. Sports law experts say the National Basketball Association's constitution gives its board of governors broad latitude in league decisions, including who owns the teams. NBA Commissioner Adam Silver has imposed a lifetime ban on Sterling and a $2.5 million fine over recent racist comments. I'm Shirley Smith. And that's the news for Radio VR in Washington. I'm Rick Young. In a statement this week, famed actor and television icon Dick Van Dyke confessed to being the Zodiac Killer, responsible for terrorizing Northern California in the late 1960s and early 1970s. The 85-year-old actor, known for his television and film appearances in classics such as Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, Mary Poppins, and The Dick Van Dyke Show, said he committed the Zodiac murders but also killed over 37 additional people. Van Dyke said, quote, It was unbelievably easy for me to go kill someone, come back to Burbank, and get on set. It was actually part of the fun to see if I could book a flight and make it back in time. Van Dyke's confession is corroborated by several eyewitnesses describing the Zodiac Killer as, quote, a gangly, loose-limbed man with a toothy grin and a spring in his step. In other news, the open dialogue two Americans are having about race is pretty hilarious. A husband is experimenting with an open marriage, and a f***ing loser is at a movie all by himself. This episode of The Onion Week in Review was paid for, funded, and entirely created by The Onion, and in no way benefited from cheap, thankless viewers like you. For more, keep checking theonion.com. here with us we got cody o'connor from off the air live joining us tonight yeah, over in uh his yeah Three you guys sick of me I... yet over on <laughs> lrn.fm it's not gonna end this Never. is what you this is what you gotta listen to you know we're sandwiched in between you 
it's it's fantastic. You get three nights of comedy in a row on LRN.FM. And, you know, I've been listening to LRN.FM a lot recently. I've been having some internet problems, so I'm, like, listening on the TuneIn app on my smartphone. And, you know, I, I love the idea, but a lot of the stuff I listen to is so boring. Like, you guys are all talking about the same things at the same, you know, the same time. And it's just kind of getting obnoxious. I don't know oh, if you know. Uh, hey, hey Corey, did that. you know? Did you know that the cops are bad? <gasps> did you know that yet? <gasps> oh, no. No. I, no. I can't believe it. The next thing you're going to tell did me believe- is they beat people. Yeah. Apparently, they like to shoot dogs. Oh, God. <gasps> yeah. Oh, no. I know. So. We need solutions, right? Right. Yeah, let's talk about it. All right, well, show, show's over. We're done. That's okay. that's it. We, right, we did it. We, got, we accomplished it. We've got liberty in our lifetimes, everyone. Thank you very much, and have a great night. Uh, Time for an interview. Joining, <laughs> joining me tonight. I, at... I, I'm sorry I wrapped it up so quickly and easily. Jeez. i got to learn how that's to draw this said. stuff out, you know? Whoa. I know it's it's ten seconds. Boom, done. I blew my liberty load all over everybody. I'm sorry. It's in my eyes. Myself. It's in my freaking eyes, man. That's all I ask. Don't hit me in the eyes. <laughs> well, yeah, well, I'll rub it in for you, Brian. We got Thank Brian you. Hagen with us uh, tonight, as always, of the Liberty Pod uh, or Liberty Pod, Liberty Cats <laughs> Podcast. <laughs> And, uh, you know, that's just a cluster F of nothingness. It is a <laughs> cheap ripoff of the Corey Moore show. Yeah. I still contend. And we have our friend, Taryn Lupo, who, former friend, because now I've banned him from the show from stealing my idea. Right. I couldn't get rid of uh, Brian, you know, those union contracts. Mm-hmm. It's not going to allow me to do that. But, yeah, creepy Uncle Brian is joining us tonight. And, you know, Brian, you had a kind of an interesting thing you were telling me before the show. You broke your foot, man. Yes. You, you were in your cowboy boots. That's your whole yes. shtick. You got the cowboy hat, the cowboy boots. And you're walking around, and you go into the stitch, and you break your foot. Well, here's the deal. Here's what happened. Several years ago, I broke my right foot stepping on one of those decorative rocks that my mom has. And it was like icing outside so i stepped on it and oops there goes my foot so flash forward two years i'm sitting at my computer one night Corey, and i decide i have to get up to go pee so i stand up not realizing that my foot is asleep and as i stand up my foot gives way my huge massive girth topples upon my own leg my foot twists underneath me crack foot broken that was two years ago now bringing us up to today the foot's not broken but the foot sure as hell hurts bad i was walking out of my door on my way to work and i saw one of my cats and i said well hey kitty how's your morning things going good kitty mommy will feed you before too long boom i step in this freaking hole twist my ankle and i am in pain at least you didn't step on the cat. Except, oh, I did that last weekend. That was horrible, too. <laughs> did you blame it on the cat? Did you take out your anger on the cat afterwards? <laughs> yeah, I was like, you made me do that. You're going down the stairs tonight. How dare you be in heat and get pregnant? That's what happens. You know, they're too cute, and they get away with everything. Mm-hmm, they it's do. It's ridiculous. I let my cat eat steak from my plate the other night. Mm. You know how ridiculous that is? What is I'm wrong letting, with you? I'm literally <laughs> letting them walk all over me, quite literally. But they're little balls of furry cuteness, man. You have to do that. It's so hard to say no. And, you know, you know a lot of people say, you know, you have a cat, it's preparation for having a kid. And I go, right. Well, if that's the case, then this is the reason not to have a kid because I can't, I can't be responsible for the way I would treat a kid. Exactly. Oh, my God, Cody. I, I, you know, I don't even know what to say to that. I just feel, does it sleep with you in bed? I mean, I bet you you and Melinda are in bed and the cats are all, like, yes. all up on you. God, what is wrong you have with no you, idea. I You have you know, no I, idea how I, close I, I am to those cats. You have no idea. And, yes, we do cuddle every single night. <laughs> And if they don't get, if they don't cuddle, I, I get upset. Uh, here's a great story. So um, we do actually have cat beds in the house, and for a long time, our, our white cat Gonzo he would cuddle with us in the bed. And for whatever reason, a few weeks ago, he noticed that there's a cat bed. He's like, "Oh wow, I have my own bed," and he's been sleeping in the cat bed. And lately, I've been like, well, "Why am I so lonely at night?" 
not not thinking like, oh, maybe I should cuddle my girlfriend and the <laughs> living human next to me. Like, where's my cat? Oh, you're sleeping in the bed? I'm going to have to hide that thing. I'm going to have to hide that from you so you have nowhere else to go but to where I am because I'm a needy human. Well, that's why you need to, like, date a Russian chick because she'd be all hairy and stuff, and it'd be kind of like cuddling with a cat again. You know, maybe that's not a bad idea. Not to mention, they talk. I can't understand them. <laughs> so it's like, all right, fine. Yep. I mean, they, they look themselves. Everything's, you know? Everything sounds sexy when it's in Russian, right? Oh, that's that so true. true. Oh, that my true. goodness. Yes, they can be like, I just pooped on myself. And you're like, oh, baby, say it again. Yeah. <laughs> I say well, that, yeah. but with less clothes this time. Mm, let's take the top off. Mm. So why is the Corey Moore show suddenly become an addition of the Liberty Cats tonight? That's exactly what happened here, Corey. Yeah. <laughs> Because we have three of the funniest guys in the world. <laughs> See, if we would have brought Taryn Lupo in here, it would be a total train wreck. Oh. like the time that we uh, hosted the Intro Clark show at Porkfest last year. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that, that'll go down in history as possibly the worst radio ever to happen in the existence of mankind. And that is including all of the back catalog over at freedomizerradio.com. Oh, now, wow. Oh. Ooh, that, that is a sting right there. Corey, I'm coming to you tonight. For oh, there are all three radio. listeners will come you know, and attack me. I'm, I'm so scared. I'm, I'm on Freedomizer <laughs> Radio. Don't I sound good? I have a lot of topics of liberty to talk about. And we're going to actually talk about movement stuff tonight, you know. And I don't really like to get into the subject very much. But, hey, you know, it's kind of getting to the point where I'm getting to that cycle in myself where I get really annoyed at people in the movement. So we're going to talk about why does everyone have a podcast? Uh, we're also going to get into uh, why being famous in the Liberty Movement is not really famous. Yes, yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what does it mean? What does it mean? <laughs> I'm excited and... for these convos. Oh, we're getting some feedback. Oh, we are? Oh, I know exactly why. Let me fix that over on my end. I'm doing the techie stuff tonight, by the way, to all of our listeners out there. Shout out to the uh, little chat room, too. Here we go, Corey. Did that fix things? I think so. There we go. Yeah. And, uh, you, you know, Nico is not with us tonight. Uh, he is trying to make a love child with Nancy Grace. They've uh, reconciled. And <laughs> good. They're, yeah, yeah. He's down there having a good old, old time. He's going to be on the Nancy Grace show tomorrow night. Oh, they, uh, wow. HLN. Oh, my God. What are they going to talk about? I don't know. Apparently, they feel <laughs> like he's on the Corey Moore show all of a sudden. And he's an expert on crime or, or uh, creepy people. I don't know. Something like that. I have a feeling uh, they're going to talk about missing something... white girls. What's that? Missing white girls. That's what they're going to talk about. Well, of course they're going to talk about missing white girls. But, you oh, know, she we'll doesn't talk about suspects. that stuff that much, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, never. <laughs> she does, like, movie reviews, right? Right. This is Nancy Grace we're talking about. Right. She doesn't do movie reviews. She's so kind-hearted. Yeah. She's the one that we all like, right? <laughs> Am I wrong? Am I wrong about that? I think you're very well. Maybe you're wrong. I don't know. Yeah, I Maybe so. a little. I don't know. I might have to be downgraded to Freedomizer Radio. I might have to be kicked off LRN. It's too hot class for me. Well, here you I'm, I'm waiting for the email for me. I'm waiting for the email. I'm checking you my email box. You yeah, guys are going to LRN. There's a treasure hunt going on at mathgate.info, a Bitcoin treasure hunt. You can find Bitcoins by proving theorems. So learn some logic, do some math, find some Bitcoins. Even better, mathgate.info is designed to be used anonymously. So connect to mathgate.info through Tor, prove some theorems, find some anonymous Bitcoins. Don't wait. Others are already searching for the Bitcoins. Go to mathgate.info today and join the treasure hunt. There are anonymous Bitcoins to be had for the taking at mathgate.info. The manatee is a solitary creature, drifting along in the warm, peaceful shallows. They are not usually held in a small glass enclosure with three other male manatees hell bent on the violent, forced sex that I, for real, saw with my own eyes while alone one night at SeaWorld, San Diego. A distant relative of the elephant, the manatee has a prehensile upper lip which it uses to gather food. It also has a large penis. Classified as endangered, human boaters often cause serious wounds to manatee's flippers, rendering it difficult for this one poor little rescue manatee to escape a large male manatee intent on unwanted anal intercourse. One needed not to look in that little manatee victim's cold, soul-sapped eyes 
to know this was not the first time this had happened, nor would it be the last. This is the Onion News Network. Now that you've found the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM, you may want to help expose others to our great programs. To assist you in doing so, you'll find resources at promote.lrn.fm, including details on how to get a free bumper sticker, quarter-page flyers you can print out and distribute, banners for your website, as well as files that will allow you to make your own custom banners and graphics. Visit promote.lrn.fm and help bring new listeners to the Liberty Radio Network. That's promote.lrn.fm. Have you ever wanted to move to the land of Libpair, Libertarian Paradise, where there's fun for everyone that doesn't initiate force on others, fun for the kids, parties for the adults, buy and sell in silver or Bitcoin, scenic hikes and gun shoots, speeches to educate us all? The Porcupine Freedom Festival is Libpair in the White Mountains of New Hampshire for a week this summer, June 22nd to 29th. Get your tickets now before there's no more room. Porkfest, the event of a lifetime. Porkfest.com. That's P-O-R-C-F-E-S-T dot com. Instead of just listening, you can also watch. See the Liberty Radio Network's key New Hampshire-based live shows via our studio cam at cam.lrn.fm. Plus, you'll still be able to listen to the Liberty Radio Network via the cam feed in high quality 24-7, even when there's no live show being produced in our keen studio. But wait, there's more. Our chat room is built into the cam page so you can interact with other listeners online. Listen, watch, and chat. All free at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keen. Keen is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keen. Keen is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. <laughs> Is it? You think you see me? This is the Cory Horror Show. Do you know how much I make a year? I mean, even if I told you, you wouldn't believe it. Do you know what would happen if I suddenly decided to stop going into work? A business big enough that it could be listed on the NASDAQ goes belly up. Disappears. It ceases to exist without me. You clearly don't know who you're talking to, so let me clue you in. I am not in danger. I'm in danger. 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 The danger. A guy opens his door and gets shot. You think that of me? No, 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 no. I am the one who knocks. knocks, 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 knocks. And welcome back to the Corey Moore Show. You can listen, watch, and chat with us live right now over at CoreyMooreShow.com slash live. Now, you can chat with us, but I'm not sure if anyone over is actually over there watching it. So, you know, have fun tonight, guys. We don't have Mandy with us to uh, fill us in what nonsense you guys are saying. But yeah, have at it. You know, we really enjoy the fact that you are listening to the show. And we have a special guest with us tonight, Cody O'Connor from OffTheAirLive.com. He's on uh, the same station we are, LRN.FM, from uh, Thursday nights and Saturdays. Same, sl uh, same time slot, I believe, Cody. Same time slot. How are you doing, Corey Moore, from the Corey Moore Show on Friday nights, 10 to midnight? I'm doing good, Cody O'Connor. Great. From I'm, doing, I'm doing very great, too. That's how we have to address each other now. <laughs> Definitely. You know, name, we should... name, show, time slot, website. I like in this. In that order. I like this. 
Like when we go to conventions, that's how we should introduce ourselves. Oh, abs- it's going to be all on my name card when I go to the, my next festival. <laughs> go to Pork Fest. It's going to. You have like an extension on your card, like. Oh, yeah, it's, it's going to be like, it's like those go wallets from, when people show their kids. You know, it comes it's going to go. It's going to go from tit to dick. That's that's how long my my <laughs> name card is going to be. Yeah, Cody, you know, uh, you do a podcast, obviously, and everyone is doing a podcast these days, but then not everyone can be as funny as us. True. Most people can. It's it's not an easy uh, feat. No, you know, but what is up with that, man? Why is everyone doing a podcast nowadays? It seems like every libertarian out there. I don't know. Is, thinks, oh, you know what I can do? Radio. <laughs> I listen to a lot of radio. Hey, you know what sounds like a good idea? I'm going to do a radio show. Hey, Mom, do you want to listen to me on my radio show? And then all of a sudden, that person ends up with a time slot on Freedomizer Radio. (laughs) But he's listening. Pretty sad. I was saying this before the show. I think it's going to get to the point. This is going to be the apocalypse of the liberty movement. When every single person in the movement has their own radio show, they're all begging everybody else to listen to it. And everyone else is going to say, no, 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 you, you got to listen to my show. I'm too busy doing my show. you got to listen to mine. No? Okay. And everybody's only going to listen to their own radio show, and that's how we end. That, sounds- that, and, that and Brian Hagen drinking all the booze. Those are the two apocalypses <laughs> of the Liberty Movement well, that, that I see in the future. That's going to happen next month at Pork Fest. I am going to single-handedly, this is my goal, I am going to single-handedly shut down the entire Free State Project.